That's good. Good on this end. Getting the uh, little intro here. You know, we see the Patriots. We see the Browns. Uh, let me... Do this. On the shores of Lake Erie. All right. Bill Belichick has come back to coach here. Hopefully the audio is a decent mix. His team at two and three. Kevin Stefanski, third year. And he's got his team at two and three. And that bunched up AFC North. Yeah, let me go like this, actually. Browns get the ball to begin. The Patriots have deferred. Oh, yeah, I'm very nervous. It's always uh, an interesting game. Let me see something. All right, first and ten at the twenty-five for the Browns. And this brings us to seventh-year quarterback Jacoby Brissett of the Cleveland Browns, getting an opportunity to start against his All right. team, the team that drafted him in the New England Patriots. Jacoby Brissett does a very good job of protecting the football. He's efficient with the football. You can see the sixty-four percent complete on the season, and really, Kevin, a little quiet. Open. This is about the offensive line. This is about Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. That running game. Pit, Max. Good luck, man. Good luck. What's up, Donnie? Right off the bat. Couple tight ends. It's a first and ten from the twenty-five. Chubb goes wide, five wide. Blocked by Wills. Outside nope. they go. Bryant. They go with a little completion here. About a six-yard gain. Had a nice touchdown return on defense last week. It's a gain of six. Hopefully the audio is good. I could turn the game up a little bit if need be. We'll see. Second down and four coming up. Yep. Oh, it was a six-yard gain, actually. It's second and four. What's up, Kevin? Watch out for play action on this play. Figured play action. Brissett throws. Yeah, there we go. Good start. Kyle Duggar with the pick. Woo! Kyle Duggar starts the game out. Second throw of the game. Got to get a big pick. If you haven't left the light, consider doing so if you're uh, watching the game. If you haven't done so, it helps the stream out, gets the stream going. Duggar with the big interception gets it to the New England, uh, I don't know, New England 36. So we have it on our side of the field, roughly. What's up, Blue? Right, let's see if we can turn this into something. Yeah, that's true, Kevin. That's true. I bet you you're excited. You can't lose today. All right. First and 10 at the 36. They're going to hand it off. And he gets about three. Not much there. We'll try, Jacob. Yeah, I picked the, I picked the Chiefs. All right, second down in about seven. You look at his career numbers when he was in college, over 15,000 yards passing his senior year. He had 62 touchdown passes. What up, Kenny? How was that going to transition to the NFL? Well, you can see the numbers of his first start a week ago. It transitioned yeah, let's, very well, completing let's go defense. We're on offense right now, Jacob. The Browns are on defense. What's up, Phil? Good luck today. Good luck, Kenny, with your team as well. Ah, just threw it into the dirt. Uh, second down or third and seven coming up. Ball at the thirty-nine. The Chargers fans were talking shit to me last night after Justin Herbert hasn't lost two times. Yeah, that's weird. I was gonna say, yeah, we we. I don't remember the last time we lost to the Chargers. <laughs> it's like you do realize the team that has ended every one of your promising seasons in the playoffs was the Patriots. Like, every single good Chargers team has been beaten by Tom Brady in the playoffs. It's hilarious. Third and seven after 
Almost every time. It's third and seven, big play coming. Zappi gets it out to Kendrick Bourne. First down into Brown's territory to the 45. Good there, good throw, good catch there by Bourne. Good play. Herbert is better than Mac. Yeah, sure. Mac's a winner, though. Uh, did you pick Bills to win? I picked the Chiefs. Oh, you're good, uh, Phil. I picked the Chiefs today. Big Bourne with a big play. Let's see what we do. Ball at the 44, actually. Good spot. Gonna hand it off. About, about maybe a yard or two. Second down and eight coming up. Hey, just got to get it. You just got to move it down, 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 get into field goal range, and hope we can hit one. Uh, you know, take all the points you can get. Second down and eight coming. Same here, Donnie, like like he did last week where he was averaging like four yards or six yards a carry. Cut blocked by Parker. Yeah, that was really nice. All right. What, third and short, third and four? Well, this is where the down is, right? This is, this is what coaches talk all the time about situational football. Now you've got the ball across the 40-yard line going into Brown's territory. It's third and four. You've got an opportunity to keep the drive alive, but also, Kevin, this is the part of the Got to play smart here on third and four. Hopefully it will be a close game, even, uh, even with the Bills injuries on both ends of the field. Yeah, I was going to say uh, the Chiefs are dealing with some injuries as well, so. Yeah, and your guys' defense has stepped way up with the uh, false start by Brown. Son of a bitch. A rare mistake by Trent Brown. Well, what happened? What did he do? <laughs> Why did he do that? Like, he never makes mistakes. Like, I guess he just had a brain fart. I don't know. All right. Now we're at the 43. Back it up five. Just a small little poop. <laughs> That happens with backups and, you know, coming in there and having to play over for starters. All right. Just got to, you know, got to remain calm. We converted a long one earlier. Third and nine. Zappi takes a shot. Devontae Parker. Whoa. Sheesh. All the way to the 14-yard line. Yeah, hurry up and run a play. Just run the ball. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you just want to put it in position to where your guy can Goodness go gracious, Devontae Parker. <laughs> his career has attacked the football. This time, going up and making the catch and landing before he gets out of bounds. He landed straight on his back. That's a catch. Wow. Good job by fucking Devontae Parker right there. This is definitely going to help as long as we just got to be smart here now. That could have been offsides. Yard gain. There we go. That's all we needed. Second down and nine. Throwing to Parker is a huge risk. Either he makes an amazing play or the... Well, yeah, because he's always going to be covered, and he doesn't get much separation. But boy, oh boy. We can't settle for field goals. We got to get touchdowns. We got to get production when you get down inside the 20. Oh, this is our lowest. What's weird is I think all of those years we won the Super Bowl except one of those. With the lowest TD um, percentage uh, for touchdowns in the red zone. It's like 2000, 2001, and 2003. Did we win the Super Bowl all of those years? I think except 2000 and... 2000, 2001. It'll be third down and one coming up. Uh, Green Bay is, but not us. Yeah. Didn't Parker with a game with the Ravens? Um, didn't Parker and Mac have like 157 yards on seven catches before Mac got hurt? Or was that with uh, Zappy that he had that game? No, him and Mac were just starting to get the chemistry. Oh, damn it, win. It's two false starts. That's been bad on this drive. It'll be at the 11 now instead of the six. Third and six. 
problems. Seventh of the season accepted right there. The most of any lineman at that right tackle position. And Kevin, they were able to overcome Trent Brown. Well, uh, hey, we've overcome a bunch of dumb third downs here. So let's see if we can convert a third third down. The very unlikely play. By the way, if you haven't left a like, uh, consider doing so. Who, who can we trade, Mike? Sappy throws, end zone. That's P.I. What the fuck was that? That's got to be P.I. on Myers, right? That's got to do. That's got to be P.I. on Newsom. Yeah, I heard that, Donnie. Cam and Jacob. I was very, like, yeah, I was very happy to see uh, Jacoby give Cam the credit. That'll be first and goal at the one. This should be three handoffs. I don't I don't care. Just hand it off, hand it off, hand it off. This should be the easiest set of called plays. Even if they stuff you twice, do it again. <laughs> yeah, Cam was huge for Jacoby. Built his confidence way up. Kevin Harris, Stevenson in the backfield. They went with the uh they got close. That'll put it at like the inch mark. Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. <laughs> I, I have Ramondre on one of my teams. So it'll be second and goal at the one. Damn, they're holding up hard here at the one. Long drive, by the way. Patriots have eaten up about six minutes on the clock. There is uh, 8 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. They're going to hand it off again. He stopped again. Uh-oh. Might want to try a little tricky something here. Yeah, their defense is stepping way the fuck up right here. Alright, third and goal at the 1. Touchdown! Oh, there's a flag. Damn, there's I think there's multiple flags on the play. Oh, he gets pushed out. God damn it, no play. Damn. Hey, what's up, Daniel? I'm glad you enjoy it. Ah, fourth and goal. We have to kick a field goal. God damn it. Hunter Henry made a mistake. He stepped out of bounds. That was a good, I mean, it was a good way. It was a good little play there. I like the decision to go with that, but they, it was just Hunter Henry yeah, got for, he forced out. No, he, he wasn't really forced out. The wind doesn't swirl as much at this end of the field as right. it does at the other end. Well, 19 yard attempt. As long as we get points here, that's all that matters. Ate up a bunch of the clock. 734 remains. Now we just got to go out there, play good defense. I mean, it's at the goal, but I think we should just take the points. And he stays that way with a 19-yarder, so the defense of Cleveland holds him out. This is going to be one of them games where you got to probably take the points in this one. We step aside on CBS. This could be a game where both teams elect to run a lot of clock off. Uh, 7.31 remains in the first. 7.31 remains here in the first quarter. Patriots take a 3-0 lead. They get some points on the turnover. Yeah, good stand by the Browns. They're at the one. Uh, they get away with only giving up one. Uh, if the Bucks, no, they'll probably still make the playoffs.
If you guys lose to the Chiefs, are you not a playoff contender? Like, I don't know. Did When you guys lost to the Jaguars last year, were you guys still a playoff contender, Phil? What's up, Marith? Green Bay is terrible. Rodgers might rage quit while the season. Is Green Bay losing to the Jets right now? All right, well, it's a commercial break, by the way. That's why we're not really talking about the game. It's a commercial break. We're waiting for it to pop back on. Yada, yada, yada. No, it's still 0-0 zero, zero, at least. Minus 20. Oh, oof. Let's hope we can just get another big stop on the Browns. We got Brissett last time on a pick. Lions get to heal up. I'm rooting against all NFC North teams and pretty excited about Bills Chiefs. There you go. It's always fun on a bye week because you get to root for teams to lose or like you can like just kind of enjoy other teams. Uh, the Browns, we won the toss and the Browns got the ball to begin. We picked uh, Brissett off on his second throw and then we marched down in a very long drive for a field goal. Yep, so it was a decent start to the game. It looks like the game's about to pop, pop back on here in a second. Packers had a third and two. Oof. Not a great game so far against Gang Green. For sure, Phil. See you in a minute. Yeah, that TD would have been nice to start off. Sometimes we just don't score touchdowns, and it's, it is what it is. Guardians winning last night over the Yankees, taking a two games to one lead. We were in the same hotel as the Yanks. All right. And uh, they came in with their heads hanging. Exactly. Hey, you know. Take points off turnovers anytime. We stole their first drive and got points on it. 731 remaining in the first quarter. 731 remains. Here comes the kickoff. Bailey boots it back, and it's in the end zone. They're going to run it out. And they for it's first and 10 at the 25 anyway. All right, it's at the 25 anyway. He could have just left it in there. He could have came out. He had uh, limited options on that one. First and 10 at the 25. Yeah, hopefully, Mirth. Hopefully, hopefully. First and ten. We're going to hand it off to Chubb. Oof. It's like an eight-yard pickup. It'll be to the 33. You grew up watching the Bills Super Bowls four in a row losses. Oof. Might be an upset week. It's kind of starting to look like it. Here comes Chubb. And he gets out to the 40. That'll be a first down. So Cleveland moves the chains and gets a first. Another seven-yard run there for Chubb. It'll be first and 10 at the 40. Oh yeah, Chubb's uh, one of the better backs in football. If not, you know, he's arguably the running back, but there, it's, uh, it's, it's all varied with running back, I think. Second down and two, or ten, incomplete pass. <clears throat> but I would say Chubb right now, it might be the consensus uh, number one. Yeah, then you got Derrick Henry, too. Defense scored last week. 
for a second consecutive week. Second down and 10. Ball at the 40. Browns lining up like they're going to run the ball here. Kind of bunching up on the line. Patriots get some good penetration, and he doesn't get any yards. Third and 10. Like I said earlier, if I'm Bill, I stack the line and make Brissett. Yeah, but if you do that, you might really open up a big play downfield. Third and ten. Third and Thomas under Reed, Jim Kelly. Yup. Ah, way too much time. Duggar got beat. Out to the Patriots, 27. This is probably points, this drive. What happened with Duggar? Oh, he just got beat. Duggar got beat on a double move. That ball would have been an easy pick if he didn't get double beat there. Ball was underthrown. Not good. Oh, play clock. First and ten, though. Oh yeah, uh, I don't care. I don't see the ESPN page, Mirth. So uh, I don't really care. That'll be a two-yard game. I mean, I can get rid of it if it bothers you. Yeah, no, I know. I, I know what it is. Pretty irrelevant. I'm glad you're telling me this to distract from the game, I guess. Second down and eight. Did you know something? Yeah, I, I know. Third and short to the third and what, like two? Oh, third and five, okay. Third and four, right? That's what I thought. I thought that was a lot closer than five. All right, all right. Third down and four here. And they swallow Hunt up. So he'll get to the 20. Have to wonder if they're going to kick it or go for it. They'll probably kick it here. We'll see another field goal. Looks like they're trotting their field goal unit out. All right, so it'll be a 3-3 game. I would imagine that Cade York probably won't miss a under 40-yard field goal. All right, so both sides force field goals. Yeah, we're up to 12 likes. If you haven't left a like, consider doing so. It helps the stream out quite a bit. All right. Uh, that'll be a commercial break coming up. Commercial break now. 3-3 three, three game with uh, three minutes to go in the first. 3-3 three, three game, three minutes to go. Patriots will be getting the ball on the kickoff. We'll see how they do. Uh, I guess we could look around the league really quick. It seems like it's pretty low scoring. Atlanta's up 7-0. Green Bay and New York are tied. Jacksonville and Indy are tied. Uh, Miami and Minnesota are tied. New Orleans is up 7-0 on Cincy. Baltimore and New York are tied. 
and Pittsburgh's up on Tampa Bay. That's that's. Uh, oh, uh, Jacksonville just scored, and they're up six, seven, nothing, pending the extra point. So that's uh, that's around the league. Yep. All right, Jaguars are up seven, nothing. Dang, looking like another uh, good call on picking the Jags over Indy this week. We'll see how it plays, though. It's very early in the week. Very early in the games. Right now, it does look like a major upset week is, is brewing. Look at that. Atlanta's winning. Jacksonville's winning. Even though I don't really consider that much of an upset. Uh, New Orleans is winning. And, uh, Pittsburgh is winning. What's that? Four upsets right now? Good Lord. This game, I don't know if this would really be considered an upset. They're too close. It's like this game. Either team could win, and it's not really surprising. I feel like this about this game, this game. Um, yeah, about everything else should have a pretty solid favorite, though. Jeremy Pena hit a home run last night. and Yeah. Yep, you guys are in the ALCS for the, what, sixth straight season? Cheating your way to uh, Dynasty, or at least... Uh, an American League dynasty, not necessarily an actual dynasty. All right, game's coming back on. Patriots will be getting the ball on the kickoff with three minutes remaining in the first. It's a 3-3 game. Let's see how the Patriots respond to the field goal by the Browns. Yep, Dodgers got, were eliminated by the great Padres. Always a good thing to see the Dodgers get eliminated. Hilarious. The uh, Guardians are pretty close to eliminating the Yankees as well. Yeah, it's Phillies Padres for the uh, NLCS, I believe. Yep. And it's looking like it could be Cleveland-Houston uh, for the a uh, ALCS. Short kick, you're going to have to return it here. Yeah, about to the 22. First and 10 at the 22 for the Patriots, probably. See what they do on offense here. The reliever, yeah, you don't want. Yeah, the Braves are scary if they uh, can like get hot and play good baseball. Phillies are just a white hot team right now, and that's the uh, scariest thing about baseball playoffs. Is it like if you're a hot team heading into the playoffs? Oh boy, you're a nightmare. A little slant pass to Parker, and that'll be a first down out to the 36. First and 10 to the 36. Here come the Patriots again. Parker seems to be uh, starting to find his role in the offense quite comfortably. Hopefully this keeps up. Phillies? I hope it's the Padres. There's a flag on the play. What the hell is that? Well, and the penalty flag came from the back judge. It did. On the far sideline, late. Came in late, and it looks like he's calling a hole. Legal block in the back on the offense. There you go. 10 yard penalty. Block in the back. Jacoby Myers picks it up. Explanation to Belichick. Well, and that's why the flag came from. That was a shitty call. You know, that was just a run right in the backfield. And the flag coming out. Second and 20. We're getting a lot of flags in this game. Jesus Christ. These uh, Cleveland refs are like flag, 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 flag. Red Wings look good. They've been putting up points. So that's good. Hmm. 
That was a quick delay of game call, too. Good lord. Fourth penalty on the pass. All on the offense so far. Well, the That's a... Miles with their play calling right now. Six run plays, six pass plays. But you're right, Kevin. Two All right, well, penalties. first and 25. Inflicted penalties. They're, they're easily, easily fixed. Well, it's still first down, so we have a bunch of downs to get this kind of backed up. We're actually pretty good on these weird long plays, um, historically anyway. We have, like, good plays set up for these. Play action, quick screen, that'll pick up, what, 30, uh, 11 yards? It gets to the 32, so it should be second in about 14. What's up, Liz? Yeah, that was an 18-inning game, Kev. That was crazy. Second and 15, sorry. I was a little off. All right, we just got to hope to we can maybe somehow convert this big-ass play series situation. Second down and 15. Now it's like we just took a bad sack on first down. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think he just got strip-sacked. They're going to call that a fumble. I don't know. His arm looked like it was going forward, though. Meh. Hold on a minute. His arm is clearly moving. Isn't that not a... Uh, I don't know if that's actually... That's going to be reviewed. That's got to be a throw, right? What's up, stud? I mean, right now, it's 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 being ruled a fumble... Uh, a strip set, or like a forced fumble on the hit. But his arm was clearly going forward. So I guess we'll see what the play is called. It's under review, of course. All, all turnovers like that are reviewed. So we'll see. It's a commercial break right now. We'll see once it comes back from the break. No, it's uh it's an auto all turnovers and scoring plays are reviewed in the NFL automatically now. So the the way that the NFL has told refs to kind of call these things is to just sort of auto like, hey, this is um a fumble or whatever. Just go with that as the uh, call on the field type deal. Because, again, it can just be, it's going to be reviewed anyway. And, I mean, it, it clearly looks like his arm's going forward, but we'll see. Looked like a throw in my eyes, but... Maybe there's something else I'm not uh, I didn't see or didn't get clearly. Well, it's nothing new with like rookie stuff. It's just uh, I think his arm was going forward. And, like he got hit as it was going forward and it forced a bad it like made the throw bad. It's like I don't think you could call that a f fucking like he forced the ball out. His arm was already like going forward to throw. Yeah, I, I agree. Isaiah Wynn is trash. in Cleveland and what's ruled a fumble on the field we're going to take a look at what we've looked at during commercial break oh yeah hand starts to come for is the ball out before that transition coming forward oh uh, they're going to say no to me, it almost yeah that was win right yeah garbage ass play by win let us know what his thoughts as we're getting an announcement right oh now. that's going to be called a fumble isn't it ah uh, fuck that was shit call well, I guess they're giving Cleveland the win here today. Congrats, Max. They keep giving us a bunch of bad calls and a bunch of bad flags. I don't know what the fuck this is about. 
is he in control of that football moving it forward or is it just starting to anybody else that would be called an incomplete pass by the way <laughs> i don't know why the fuck that was called a fumble that's kind of that's real chintzy uh officiating in my opinion yeah well, Cleveland's being given the game. Congrats, Max. The call, the call has been made already. It's a gain of 11 also over there with Duggar. So a couple things here, some housekeeping. They get as far as the 27. With that, that is a... Any big play is going to be a flag. Any close call is going to go your guys' way, so... And he gets a few there on first and ten. It'll be second down and uh, six, maybe? Second down and seven. That'll end the first quarter, though. Second down and seven. Second and seven. Second quarter coming up. Second quarter coming up. It'll be second and seven at the New England 24. Second down and seven at the New England 24. Damn. Atlanta's up 14 nothing right now. That's a kind of a shocker. Uh, since he tied it up, Tampa has it seven to three. All right. Things are starting to, and everything else is pretty much the same. Commercial break. I'll unmute it as soon as the game comes back out. If you haven't left the light, consider doing so. Helps to stream out, helps to do well, you know, adds people in, you know, interactions, yada, yada. Good first quarter though. It's three, three good defense all around. Couple turnovers by either uh, turnover by each team. Uh, you know, it's been defense and running base football so far. Pretty much what we thought this game was uh, going to look like. Hopefully the Patriots here on second and seven can get a stop or two. Hopefully they can uh, overcome, I guess, bad ball security that's been kind of haunting this team all season. Ugh. Isaiah win, though. Can't wait for Marcus Cannon to be like fully ready to take his spot. It's like how close, how far away is Marcus Cannon from being ready to take his spot? He's really just a bum. I'm tired Isaiah win. I just hope that there isn't a play in this game where that happens to us, where the ball gets knocked out of Brissett's hand, and like they're like, well, his arm was going forward just enough for us to... It's like, oh, that's horse shit. I just hope that they're consistent about it. All right, here we go. Second quarter coming underway. First and 10 at the... Or second and seven at the 24. Sorry. Second and seven at the 24. They're at the Patriots' side of the field due to the turnover. So uh, let's see what the Browns do. If only we had Mac Jones in this one. This game would probably going better for us. Second and seven at the 24. Second quarter about to be underway. Hikes it off. All right. Third and six. Got to get another big stop here. Hopefully we can hold them. Third down and six. A decent pressure. Ah, fuck. Oh, we stopped them. Fourth and one. We'll see what they do, though. They might go for it here. And they're going to go for it. Fourth and one inside the 20. Fourth and one. Well, you got to remember how good Brissett is at the quarterback sneak. They're hurrying up to the ball and getting lined up. 
No, they stopped his ass. Oh. They stopped him. That's the Patriots ball, right? I don't think he got it, man. There's no way he got that. Well, Stefanski's not happy with the spot on the far sideline. Keeping an short. eye on him. Yeah, yeah. short. We're going to call him short. Okay, it's the Patriots ball. I was going to say he looks short. Six Lion fourth down attempts last week. Oh, for six. That is the first time that had happened in like 45 years when they start keeping track of that stuff. Can you believe They're going to spot it. Six the Lions in one game. Oh, for four and fourth. Hadn't happened in 45 years. They've been keeping track. And you can That's about a yard short. That should be the Patriots ball. By about two, two and a half footballs length. And here comes that should be our ball. Unless they challenge a spot, we'll see. And on downs, the Patriots hold the Brown. Oh, wow, dude. That's like seven straight fourth down stops for the Patriots. That's unreal. <laughs> Good lord! If that actually holds and they don't challenge it, Jesus Christ! What a what a great stop by the Patriots! Way to hold! It'll be first and ten at the New England 18 for the Patriots. They get a hold here on fourth down. It'll be 13:54 remaining in the second. The Patriots have been pretty dynamic here on fourth downs this season. All right. So as long as everything holds and there's no, ch I don't think there's going to be a challenge. That was pretty much straight up. They just got stopped. Yeah, it was fourth down. Yep. Brissett tried the old Brady method. And that's the one advantage we have of having had Jacoby Brissett play for the Patriots is we know exactly how he was about to run that football. That's what it kind of felt like. It was like, oh, no, we know exactly what he's about to do with that ball, exactly where he's about to try to run it, the gap he's going to choose, the the um, the pull he's going to try to do. Advantage of drafting a guy. Again, those are the small tendency things I always talk about with, like, the advantages of having, like, a player or a coach come back. It's like, oh, dude, you know the tendencies. That's the biggest thing. You know, like, the little triggers that they might have. Like, oh, he prefers pulling it up to the right guard and going between right guard and right tackle instead of right guard center. Uh, so you can kind of cheat to one of them gaps. Like, all right, he's going he's gonna to try to run, you know, between the right tackle rights and, and right guard. So instead, you just kind of fucking funnel the defense through right there and always have, like, a good, in case he tries to be tricky and maybe bounce out or, uh, like, he tried to do bounce out. You, Brady seeing ghosts today. Uh-oh. That's never good. You never want to see ghosts. Seeing ghosts. I always felt that it's about to come back on. They're doing CBS commercials right now. Oh, ghosts. Ooh, spooky. I want to see ghosts one time, just so I can know that they're real. I like that they went for it. I like it means that they're scared of the offense. And Bailey pew pew zap. Exactly. He's 6 of 14 for 71. Oof, that's not very good, is it? All right, first and ten. Cannon is in. Outside they go. Stevenson. Marcus Cannon is in the game. Ooh. Sounds like Isaiah Wynn has uh, been taken out of the game if they just put in Marcus Cannon. That might be it, boys. So if Marcus can play, oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice little wedding. Congrats to old Robert Kraft. He got married this weekend. Let's go, Mr. Kraft. Second down and seven. They're going to run it here with Ramadre Stevenson, who breaks. Oh, good run. Third and two coming up. And I don't like this drive, though. 
Well, this is going to set up a third and short. They've two for three on third down as we take a look at third and two coming up for the Patriots here. Yeah, good effort run there by Stevenson. Good power. See what we do here on third and two at the 26. Pick up those extra couple yards. Boy, two good rushing attacks, but so far not much. Patriots, a little over two yards of carry. Brown. Yeah, we're not really running too well here, but we're throwing it pretty good. We're just not running well. Probably play action coming up here if we get the playoff. Nope. All right, just straight up throw. That's a P.I. Come on. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That's got to be P.I. No, he like shoved our guy down into the field. Like, like, I know it was a bad throw, but it's also like it only looked bad because he shoved the motherfucker down who'd have been underneath it. Greedy shoved him because he got beat. Yeah, dude, yeah, this is a good crew, by the way. Yeah, Greedy grabbed it. It's either... Yeah, that, that's 100% on Greedy. That'll be first and ten to the forty-four. Yeah, it was a penalty. It was holding or pi. What the? F what are they booing for? It's like, I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty textbook, in my opinion. All right. Anyway, first and ten. Oh, it's his first game. Okay, that that actually... I was like, why is Greedy playing like this? <laughs> He's just trying to get acclimated. I didn't know it was his first uh, game back. Oh, no, this play is not going anywhere. Second down and 12. Second and 12. As this comes around the other way, but there is nowhere for him. This whole backside of the defense, everybody stays home, and they're just waiting on it to come back around. There's nowhere for him to go. Yeah, they they sniff that out. It's a good try, but it's just something that I think the Browns were just like waiting on for whatever reason. Yeah, this drive ain't going anywhere. That's all right. Ah. Just a bit of a bad throw. Neither offense is really able to get anything going right now. Third and 12. So 42. Baltimore scored 7 nothing. Ah, bad throw. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. Fourth and 12. It's all right. 11.41 remains here in the second quarter. 11.41 remains here in the fir uh, first half. Fourth and 12. The Patriots will punt it away. It's a 3-3 game. Hopefully we get a good punt here and pin it deep on them or something. Yeah, a couple bad throws there by Zappi. You got to get them throws down a little bit. Both those could have been completed on slightly lower throws. But again, he's a rookie. He's a young guy. This has been a... Uh, yeah. All right. Good punt. 13-yard line. Good job, by, uh, good job by Bailey to pin it in deep. First and 10 at the 13 for the Browns. Once the game comes back on, it's a commercial break, so I'm muting the audio. First and 10 at the Cleveland 13 when the game's back on. 11.35 to play in the half. What's up, Abe? Yeah, good punt. Uh, look around the league. San Francisco has cut the lead in half, making it 14 to 7. Uh, Jaguars are up 14 to 3 now. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I picked the Jags in that one. That feels like a good one. Still 0 0 in Green Bay Jets. 
0-0 Minnesota Miami. Uh, New Orleans has doubled the lead. It's 14 to seven now uh, over Cincinnati. Baltimore went up 7-0, and I think seven to three still or seven to six now in the Tampa Bay Pittsburgh game. So we'll see. And it's uh, 3-3 in this game, so we're waiting for this to pop back on. Yeah, it's so far, it feels like the week of the underdogs. Oh, the sweep of the uh, by the of the Colts is something I'm hoping for. I have um, I I picked the Jaguars to win this game. I guess as an upset pick, but again, it doesn't really feel like an upset. But again, I was one of the few people who picked them. Everyone else was like, "Yeah, but it's in Indy. They're not winning this time." I'm like, "Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that Texans game too seriously. I'd look at all the other games that the Jaguars have played this year." And go, hmm, maybe they're more like this team and not like the team that always loses to the Texans. There's something small to think about. What happened? What just happened? Oh, but, oh yeah, it's in Indy. Yeah, Pat's probably there. He probably is there. Heading into Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, man. I appreciate you, Donnie. Appreciate the like. Oh, no. Cleveland's going to score a huge play on their first play, aren't they? Damn it. Oh, man. If they do anything over a yard, I have to get rid of you, Fernando. Your stub toe might get worse. They have a big first play. I have to get rid of you. All right, game's back on. No, I know he didn't. There's no way. There's just the timing of it. I'm not that. I'm not actually that far behind. I'm, I'm like a play and a little bit behind. Anyway. And that'll be a two-yard pickup. Yeah, I'm just fucking around, dude. Well, I've got an update for you, Kevin. Right guard Wyatt Teller spent some time in the blue medical tent. I'm told he's being evaluated for a calf injury. Second and eight. Two returns so for the time being. Yelled a pro Holt. We'll hold it down at right guard. Balls at the 15. <laughs> 11 minutes and five seconds to go. So we're just about to be under 11 minutes to go in the quarter. 11, uh, even 10:59. Just to tell you where we're at. Ah, fuck. Out to the 27. 12 yard pickup there for the Browns. It'll be first and 10 to the 27. Donovan Peoples Jones with the catch. Well, and that's some of the things that you have to remember. And, and I don't know, maybe maybe Brissett's been gone long. Well, here's a run. Ah, fuck. A six yard pickup. Second and four coming. And written down right there by Anthony Jennings, who is a third year player out of Alabama. High pick. And a gain of six on the play and put him at the 33. The, the, the interesting conversation. Second and four. Belichick was about the usage of the Browns tight ends. The way they use two tight ends, three tight ends, extra offensive linemen. Said it creates a problem from a matchup standpoint. What personnel you Under have. Under nine. We're at 950 to go here in the quarter, by the way. The joke is, is all of a sudden you put bigs on there because you think they're going to run. But then the Browns have an advantage because of the athletes that they have at tight end. And against whoever you're going to. Ah, dude, we're going to beat ourselves today. What the fuck are we doing? Trigger finger there as we see Scott Novak again. Well, that'll be a free first down, first and ten at the 36 or so. Defense number 98, five yard penalty, first down. Well, and it was just interesting talking to Coach Belichick about. Yeah, we're just gonna beat ourselves today. <laughs> it looks like we won't. We probably won't win this game just based on the way this is fucking going. A lot of really dumb penalties so far today. Chubb, the three-time Pro Bowler, the leading rusher in the league, is going to offer a block 
Yeah. First down. To the Cleveland 48. First and 10. They blitzed uh, a couple guys there, it looked like. Looks like it opened up on a blitz. It looks like they sent Duggar flying in there. A three-yard gain. But it'll get to the New England 49, so now the Browns are in New Patriots territory just a little bit. Third and, or second and seven at the New England 49. Hope, let's see if we can get some stops. Rogers going to retire at halftime. <laughs> so is Matt Ryan. He's about to pull a Vontae Davis and quit. Come on, now a couple big plays now. Second and seven. Play action. Patriots hold stout. Good job, good job. Second and, or third and seven. All right. Need a big stop. Let's see if we get let's see if we get third seven stop. One day that I played with a guy like that. People say he's running angry. I think he's actually running at peace. That's how he wants to run. He said he just wears on guys. Miami went up three nothing. They got a field goal in uh, Minnesota. All right, here we go. Third and seven. Brissett takes it. Looks, looks, throws, fires. Incomplete, way overthrew it. Fourth and seven at the New England 49. Should be a punt coming up. Barmore was injured, though, it looks like. Fuck. I hope it's cramps. That wouldn't be good if he's out. Are they going to a commercial break? What are they doing? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Commercial break here for an injury timeout for Christian Barmore. Hopefully he's all right. Hopefully it's just cramps or something because he's kind of a bigger guy and it's kind of warm. That's what I thought it was, cramps or groin. Um, it looks like he's cramping up really bad. Fourth and seven, though, with eight, or well, it's a little under eight minutes. It's like 7.53 or something like that remaining in the quarter. Might be might be eight minutes. I don't know, somewhere around there. It'll be fourth and seven. The Browns will be probably punting it away at the New England 49. I can't imagine going for it. Uh, looking around the league really quick since we're on commercial break. San Francisco's tied the game up at 14. Um, and that's really the only major change to report. Yeah, that's about it. This game has no offense. Well, I mean, what do you expect from two teams that primarily run the football and play good defense? Like, the Patriots live on running the football and playing defense, and the Browns live on running the ball and trying to play good defense. Um, Two teams that are pretty much fundamentally operated the same way. This was never destined to be a big scoring game unless one team shit the bed entirely. Like last year when it was like 45 to 10 or whatever. But I don't really... Unless the Browns defense falls apart in the second half stopping the run, I don't really see that happening in this one. These two teams are struggling to move the ball this afternoon. They get a couple good plays and then they just go flat. <laughs> it's just like... Well, uh, why run it? And then they try running it. And they'll, they'll they'll have like one one set of first downs where they can run it for like six yards. Then the very next set, they can only go for like a yard or two. It's been very um, very uh, similar looking problems for either team today. Good defense. It's been really good defense. I will say though, it's not even been like necessarily bad offensive game planning or anything. I think these defenses have just been really good right tonight or this afternoon rather. Like, if you're watching the pure play, it's like, whoa, these guys are all playing really good. <laughs> Forcing bad throws, getting good pressure, uh, blowing up runs. It's It's been... they were the, Both teams were very much ready for what the other team was going to throw at them this week. 
You need a way to watch the game, huh? Are you going to leave me a like? Here you go. Just leave a like on your way out if you don't mind. Don't let the communists win. Sister Jean is related to Matt LaFleur. Really? I appreciate you, Cody. Here's the punt. Good punt. Marcus Jones is going to actually return it, really? Yeah, he takes it for a couple yards. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, okay. Now we're to the 13. All right. Good return. Here comes the goat, Bailey Zappi. Is it a coincidence that Zappi or Bra uh, Bailey sounds like Brady? I think so. Apparently, that's what the broadcast was saying. That's that's pretty crazy. So that means Sister Jean has ties to Mount Pleasant, Michigan, where Matt Lafleur is from, which is where I'm at. Damn, that like five degrees of Kevin Bacon thing works for just about anybody. I probably know Matt Lafleur and Sister Jean. Not to brag or anything. Gets it out to Hunter Henry here on first down, and they get a good little pick up there out to the 25. I'd be utilizing play action because the Jets are doing, or the Browns are doing everything in their power to stop the run right now. Start making them fucking sell out. Use that aggressiveness against them. But again, you got to watch out for their second. Their secondary is really good, so you, you got to be careful. First down, though, for the Patriots. Single back formation here. They're going to go play action. Good job. I like that. Zappi has Myers. And that'll be a first down to the 40, uh, 45. See what I mean by utilizing the play action? They It gives you that free second for somebody to get wide open like that. Wondell Robinson officially has more touchdowns than Kenny Galladay and Tony. Damn. Hey, the Giants just tied it up. Again, I'd be a good play caller, I'm telling you. I know exactly how to do this thing. Again, my, my, I'd be doing a lot of draws and play actions and a bunch of craziness. Uh, small gain. Second and eight. Ball's at the 47. Get Tony and Galladay combined zero since wow that's not very good that one guy. Wait, Skyler, who's the Dolphins quarterback? Who the fuck did the Dolphins even got to come in and play quarterback at this point? Who'd they sign? Yeah, I'll probably do tomorrow's game just because I kind of want to watch the Chargers. Oh, Teddy's able to play. Oh, all right. Well, they're fine then. Oh, so Teddy will just come in then? All right, they're fine then. Ah, uh, false start. God damn it. Come on, Jacoby Myers. What are you doing? You know what's funny? It's like everybody's like, who would play quarterback if we needed him? I think Myers is probably the emergency QB, right? Yeah, Ross is going to have to come in and play. Yeah, I'm going to do Monday night next week. Yep, but I have to do it from halftime forward or as soon as I can get out of class. Hey, first down for the Patriots. Devontae Parker, big catch across the middle. Myers is. That's what I thought because he played quarterback. Myers was a good start for me in fantasy football this week. Oh, shit, that was Parker with the catch. I think I started the. Oh, no, I got rid of Devontae. Fuck. I should have kept him. Right when I got rid of him, he started balling out for us. They're going to go with the handoff to Stevenson. Yeah, the Browns are all over this run right now. I don't know about this. Again, I like that we keep using the run to kind of keep the Browns thinking that we're going to keep trying it. That way you can keep play action uh, alive. Saints put up 17-7 now. Sheesh. Pittsburgh's up 10-6. 
How what? They seem to have keyed in on that. They're going to make Bailey Zappi beat them. That seems to be the Browns' thoughts in this game. Screen pass out to Tyquan Thornton. Thornton uses his speed, gets a first down to the 31. Good run there by Tyquan after the catch. Now down to 4 minutes and 10 seconds remaining in the quarter. 4 minutes and 5 seconds and counting. 405, 404, 403. Under 4 minutes now, 359, 358. Just giving you an idea of where the clock is at. It's first down and 10 at the 31. Yeah, I was going to say, we're probably in field goal range. Back up 12, so that puts it at four, uh, to 42. It's getting, getting kind of close. We might need like five more yards for it to be a guarantee type deal. Oh, get rid of it. Good job, Zappy. Good job by Zappy to throw that ball out. Second down and 10 at the 31. And he avoided intentional grounding, too. Packers fumble. Holy shit, get Rodgers out of Green Bay. Oh, wow. He's washed. Hey, R-E-L-A-X, Chase. Uh, I don't like this. They're probably going to have to call timeout. Call timeout, call timeout, call timeout, call timeout. Patriots take a timeout. 3.34 remains here in the quarter. I wonder if they're going to a commercial break. Oh, bitch-ass motherfuckers. Of course they are. Woo! All right, that's fine. I don't really care about that. I'd rather not take a penalty there. Just take the timeout and whatever. All right, 3.34 remains here in the second. They go to a quick commercial break. 3-3 game. Patriots have it second down and 10 at the 31. Uh, right now, they're looking at, what, a 40 at 12... So that's 43 at 5, 48 yarder right now. So you probably want to try to run it here maybe and get like like three yards, four yards. If, if you can push this up again to about the Cleveland 27, that's probably a good um, that's a good way to ensure a field goal. Because right now I think it's 48, right? You had 15 roughly yards. You had 12 and then about or 17 roughly yards. So, because you want to add 12 for the, uh, for the distance back. I'm going to tell you, you know, it's about two yards back in the end zone. Packers all offense just as a huge huddle. The floor is pissed. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll see what we do. Uh, oh, shit, it's commercial break. I didn't mute it. My bad. Uh, <laughs> I should have probably muted that. Nobody wants to hear boring-ass commercials. I took this pill and now I don't have to shit anymore, but you know, my blood's real thin and I got cut and wouldn't stop. I developed hemophilia. So did you guys see one of the funniest things ever that Herschel Walker did since this is football related, you know, he's running for a Senate seat or whatever. We're not going to get into all that, but this goofy motherfucker with all the CTE going on in his brain was called out for pretending to be a cop and shit and holding people hostage. And this goofy bitch really pulled a fake police badge out and started like, <laughs> and everybody basically went, oh, fuck, what is Herschel doing? To the point where like everybody, even people who support him are, were like, ah, oh, this ain't good. This is a bad fucking look. <laughs> and it was, I was like, why, why are they doing this to poor Herschel? That man's head is so fucking spaghetti and shit. It'd be like running OJ if he hadn't killed anybody. Why are they doing this to Herschel? Like man, that seems seems like un like really cruel to do this to Herschel Walker. Poor guy. You heard a joke. They said your pants are so black. Uh oh, <laughs> this is gonna be a good one. Third and ten, or second and ten. Sorry, ah, incomplete. Fuck. Herschel Walker wouldn't claim it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, the problem with Herschel Walker is then, like, his whole personal life is getting revealed now, too. It's like, Herschel, man, what are you doing? 
Democrats play dirty with these politics. They'll find out one or two things. No, it was a, it was a clean play. Them abortions were always going to come out, Herschel. Should have been in front of that shit and said you made some mistakes in the past. You could you could have played this as the champion. All right, third and ten. They're probably just going to run this here to ensure the field goal distance here. Oh, oh. go! Come on! Yeah, touchdown, Patriots! All right. There goes Madre. Madre with a 31-yard touchdown run to put the Patriots up 9-3, uh, 10-3 pending this extra point that's coming. Breaks, uh, gets outside and uh, puts it in for a touchdown. That's what's been good about keeping the uh, like the run pass run pass kind of fresh in this game, I guess. Hey, we're up to 16 likes. If you haven't left the like, consider doing so. It helps the stream out. Uh, we're not quite at the like goals or anything, and there's barely anyone watching anymore. So could use some likes. Are they really going to another commercial break? Jesus Christ, that's really bad. Ah, oh great. All right, there we go. It's still working. Well, it's another commercial break, uh, even though they were just on a commercial break. Um, yep, that was a good run there. The Patriots go up 10-3 to with 3.23 remaining here in the second. Browns will be getting the ball with the two-minute warning and three timeouts to work with for a nice little drive if they want to have one. Hopefully it's not a nice drive, though, and the Patriots kind of shut this shit down and get the ball back and maybe you know score again. All right, let's take a quick uh, look around the league here as we're waiting for the game to come back on. Um, it looks like Atlanta just went up 21-14 to after San Francisco tied it up. New York is up 3-0 uh, on the Packers. Really? Well, that's pretty cool by Stevenson. Uh, the, looks like the Colts might score soon. Minnesota went up 7-3 to on the Dolphins. That's good. Um, Tampa Bay has the ball. They're still down 10-6. to yeah, There's really no changes. I guess the Giants tied it, but I feel like we already said that. Player gets hurt, goes to commercial, two-minute warning, immediately goes back to commercial. Yeah, that's what's happening here, that one guy. I really hate the commercials. Like, it's like, uh. <laughs> but I do think in this specific game, they might actually be behind on the number of commercials they have to show because there's just been really, like, long six-minute drives apiece, basically. I don't think you spoiled anything, my friend. You said flag, and then after the run, you said oh. You shouldn't probably claim that, by the way, because I will post. I will post talk time your ass out for that. And feel nothing about doing it. Just so you're aware. No, like you probably shouldn't claim that you were spoiling because I'm very tempted to get rid of you right now. Like it's taking an unbelievable amount of restraint not to ban you from the chat. I hate spoilers. So, consider yourself lucky on this one. Anyway, kickoff coming here. Let's see if the defense can hold strong, and um, hopefully if they do give up some points, just holding the three. Ooh, it sounds like the, Rod the Rodgers is just breaking down in this game. Here come the, ooh, good return. And he gets about to the Cleveland 30, Cleveland 29, depending on the spot. First and 10 at the 29. All right, it sounds decent. Just making sure it sounds all right. Having trouble getting any traction in this one. Wonder where all the normal people who watch the stream are at. Wonder if we just didn't get notifications pushed out today. Thank you so much, Mel. Cody Davis is 
the player who is down for New England. Ah, another injury. That's not good. Special teams tackler plays a defensive back. They've already lost Barmore today to a knee and Kendrick Bourne to a toe injury. And on these special teams, as you know, Trent, man, these bodies are flying all over the place at high speed. And there's another injury. They'll probably be heading to commercial break. So the athletic training staff is out there, and we step aside in yep. Cleveland. And there goes commercial break. Three twenty-three remains. It'll be the Browns' ball, first and ten at the twenty-nine. Aaron Rodgers just got hurt. That's not good. R e l e x, dude. You got to re relax. Anyway, commercial break here. Cody Davis was uh, down on the play for the Patriots, so they're on an injury timeout. 3.23 remains here in the second quarter. 3.23 remains here in the first half. Yeah, what's up? Uh, what's hurt on uh, Rodgers? He's the MVP. He can't be hurt. I don't know why I said that. That's actually, that has nothing to do with getting hurt. <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> Like Rob, what do you think that like the MVP is indestructible? Nah, nah, totally not. Definitely not. I don't think that that award gives you special powers. That'd be fucking stupid, right? <laughs> Leg, but he's toughing it out. Oh, all right, he's probably fine then. Probably just got a stinger. Ah, uh, second and seven. That'll be a three-yard pickup. So out to the 32. Here we go. Game back on. Davis was able to get up and walk off on his own pop. He might have a concussion, though, it looks like. Normally on these kind of kickoff things, it's usually like fucking concussions and shit. Unless he just took a stinger somewhere, and it's not a concussion. But, you know. Usually those are one way on these. Second and seven at the 32. Well, with 2.45 to go here once they hike it, I bet. Yep. Run it. And it'll be third and five coming up. This might go down to the two-minute warning here. They don't have to run a play. Third and five here at the uh, 34. They have, there's a two second disparity where they don't have to technically run a play before the uh, two minute warning. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, don't move on this. Two minute warning. All right. That's what I thought. I was, I was going to say, there's no way Cleveland's actually going to run a play here. Is there? <laughs> Like, why would they? They don't have to. It's third and five. Balls at the 34. Third and five at the 34. Two-minute warning. Commercial break. Uh, I know. It's shocking. They're going to another commercial break in this game. Um, yep. Third and five. Commercial break. Two-minute warning. This should be the last commercial break of the half, though. I don't think that they're supposed to go to fucking commercials inside of the two minutes, though. Um, unless, like, it's an injury or something, like, kind of severe. I, or a challenge, I guess, too. But then again, I kind of challenged that notion of that one. I don't know. Anyway, two-minute warning. Brown's got the ball. They have three timeouts. Third and five here. We'll see what they do. Probably going to try and dial up a... I would guess it's going to be a draw, or it's going to be like a, like a straight-up pass. I don't imagine them just handing it off. Unless they're just like, yeah, we'll just fuck, fuck this. We'll just run it. Just go to halftime. but Because you don't really want to give the Patriots the ball back. Let them go get a field goal, kick the ball off to them, and then they hit another field goal. Because then you're playing right into their goddamn momentum game. And uh, you don't really want to do that with any team in the NFL. No, I think he uh, took a stinger. Apparently he's trying to tough it out. According to Fernando. Just waiting for the game to come back on now. 
been a good game, defensively oriented. Patriots were able to get a touchdown on their last drive with Stevenson on a 31-yard blast. Other than that, it's been defense and two field goals. since The offenses have had a lot of trouble getting going all the way around. They'll have like a couple good plays in the drive, and then it just completely dries up like on either side. So, very, uh, what's the word? Very stasis, a lot of stasis in this game. It feels very evenly matched. Baltimore went up 10-7, to though. Uh, any other lead changes that I should point out? Nope. Everything seems to be about the same. Back on. Number one in yards. That's for the Guardians play. Third and five. And you go right across downtown. And boy, have they done a two. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. If you haven't left a like, consider doing so to help us out. Give us a few more uh, interactions and uh, people might come in. Never know. They got to get it to the 39 to convert. So basically get it to the 40. That's a very false statement. They had Bobby Wagner, Cam Chancellor. That'd uh, be a first down, small gain. Seven yard pickup. I feel like I'm forgetting people, but they actually had like a really good football team. <laughs> I think um, uh, Bruce Irvin was on that team as well. Let me just keep thinking of players that were on that fucking Legion of Boom team. Or am I thinking of the right guy, like Irvin? Am I thinking of somebody else? Yeah, and I mean, it's Sherm, Chancellor. I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah, Fernando, that's wrong. That, that whole defense was fucking cracked. Yeah, Earl Thomas. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Earl Tom. Forgetting Earl Thomas. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Yeah, Earl Thomas, <laughs> Richard Sherman, and Cam Chancellor. That literally is. <laughs> that was unreal. Bobby Wagner. He's fucking forty almost. Overrated. Yeah, he's old as dirt. And he's still competing at a high level. Third and ten coming up. By the way, balls at the forty-one. He should probably have retired like two years ago, but he's still playing because he's a monster. He's literally, Bobby's a first ballot Hall of, oh, fair enough. Fair, okay, you know what, Fernando? All right, fair enough. The Patriots sitting on a couple of timeouts themselves, so a third and long here. If they don't get it, the Patriots themselves are going to have a chance to go down. Rookie gets Sam, Robert, Sam Roberts playing on that defensive line. Excuse me there. Trent, third down and 10. Hunt. Ah, uh, good hit. Oh, no. Oh, they're going to flag Mills. Wow, what a bad flag, dude. What was the penalty on? Wow, that's a poo That's a really weak call. <laughs> That's that's really chintzy right there. Let me tell you, boof. Good communication, good recognition by that deep middle official. Uh, that was really weak. Nah, there was some. There was he he grabbed at his arm, but I don't think it was enough to constitute a flag. Am I? I don't know. I, that might just be my own bias, though. They're gonna run it. They're at the thirty-eight. Yeah, they're running it. Second and one, and they'll probably call a timeout, too. We're just going to let the clock run for a minute. Yeah, I mean, it, it's what a, it's a it's a bad flag, but oh, well. Who fucking, oh, well. Still, everything's at play. As the Patriots looks like now, none of this is taking up some time, so. 
once Stefanski saw that Brissett was going to change the play at the line of scrimmage, he went up and called timeout. Because that Brissett just, uh, they called a timeout for Cleveland. First timeout. 42 seconds coming up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's a 30 second. Okay. All right, that's not that bad. It's only 30 seconds. Second down and one at the 29. 42 seconds left in the quarter. 42 seconds left in the half. Cleveland has two timeouts. What really happened replay is brought to you by Progressive. One thing no one would challenge, protecting your home and auto with Progressive. I'm sorry you had to relive that. Damn, hold him out, dude. Imagine if there was instant replay in life. That shit would be so embarrassing. And Hunt remains. He will be grounded and shit, holding that, like, trying to hold me like that. Third and one, or second and one. That should have been OPI. Why was that not called the offensive pass interference? I'm Amari Cooper. Yeah, literally, that's a fucking. Uh, that. What is that? Come on, you can't do that. What are you trying to say? Jack Jones committed a flag? Stupid bitch. After Hunter Henry caught that ball in the back of the end zone early in the game. Hunt remains third and one. They're still in field goal range regardless if they don't get this. Third and one. Oh, Patriots with a hard blitz. Good job to force an incomplete pass. That should keep it at the Patriots up by at least four. They'll probably make this field goal. It was a pretty short field goal. It was like fucking... Was it 48? Oh, it's actually not bad. It's almost 50. All the way across the field as Wise puts the hit on Brissett. All right, that should leave the pay. All right, so. Yeah, he sat him down. He didn't hit him too hard. Highest drafted kicker since 2016 in the oh. NFL. Drop frame for a second. We all good? Should be good. Uh-oh. My playback's starting to lag a little bit. Are we lagging bad? Should be good now. Alright, it should be set. Alright. I'm going to try to get a field goal. I mean, we have three timeouts. I mean, we have two timeouts, and technically we could try. But, I mean, you know. Jags are trying to choke the lead. It's not really choking the lead if it's the first half. But I feel like people misuse words way too much. Like, it's like, how is it choking if you give up a lead in the first half of a game? How, is, how does that constitute choking? Please explain this to me. I'm going to hold you to the fire on that use of the word choke right now, Kevin. Because um, I'm tired of people using it wrong. How is it choking to give up a, ga a lead in the f when there's st we're still in the first half? No, 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 no. It doesn't matter about your statement. You said they're choking the lead away. How, how is it choking the lead away when it's still the f Were the Jags meant to get a shutout and win the game automatically because they had a good first quarter? It's a good thing there's three more quarters than... <laughs> I don't consider a lead choked away unless it's literally like the fourth quarter and it's multiple scores. Like, if you're up 10 points in the fourth quarter, you should probably win that football game pretty pretty good unless you choke it away. You, no, well, Kevin, no, I get what you're saying, Like, but you can't choke a game in the first half. There's no ability to choke a game away in the first half, in my opinion. They're just going to run it here. I don't imagine anybody taking a timeout. I'd imagine this is just going to go to halftime. Yep. Yeah, Kevin, that's fine. That's just how a game works. It's like when people say, like, a baseball team took a 4-0 lead in, like, the second inning, and then in, like, the third inning, the other team calls, like, ties it back up, and everyone's like, oh, they, they blew the lead. It's like, no, they didn't. That's not how this works. 
What was the game over? Was this the final inning? Was it late? In the, you know what I mean? Like if this was late in this, if it was like this in the fourth quarter, yeah, I would be like, yeah, they, they're choking the lead away right now. But right now it's just they're they're just the it's just the ebb and flow of a football game. There's both teams are gonna score. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Mike. You got to have a decent lead. All right, uh, halftime here though, so it's a commercial. Well, it's halftime, so I'm gonna leave it muted for halftime. Um, wow, the Packers managed to keep it tied at halftime. Uh, Green uh, San Atlanta leads twenty-one to fourteen at half. Uh, looks like Jacksonville is going to hold on to a one-point lead. Minnesota's up ten to three at half. New Orleans is up twenty to fourteen at half. Baltimore's up ten to seven at half, and it's ten to nine Steelers at half. Uh, <laughs> decent uh, first half football, and in this game, it's ten to six. Patriots lead the Browns. Brown Patriots get the ball. Yeah, I'm I'm very surprised if that the Steelers are beating the Bucks right now. That's hilarious. Yeah, this game is gone. Just a, I guess Stevenson's been the star of the game. Ten carries, fifty-two yards, and a touchdown. Bailey Zappi's been huge. Eleven to seventeen, one hundred and forty-one yards. All the games are at half right now. It looks like though. How's my pickums looking? I'm zero and one. One and one with this game. Zero and two tie. Or one and two anyway. Two and two with the Jags. Three and two. Three and three. Four and three. And then four and four. Huh, not bad actually for how things are going. That's not too terrible. Could be a little better. Hopefully, um Tampa takes the lead. Hopefully, uh I don't know about Cincy. I'm a little worried about them. Um every other game I'm pretty confident in. This one and this one have me a little, or this one and this one have me a little nervous. But these other ones, I'm all fairly confident in, especially since the teams I picked are winning. <laughs> Dan Quinn to the Browns. <laughs> Something. I think you guys might need a new coach. I don't know, Max. I, I don't know. Stefanski seems all right, but it just seems like something's off. I don't know what it is. I'm starting to wonder if he's actually the right coach for you guys. I'm surprised by a lot of these scores, to be honest. I didn't expect Green Bay and uh, the Jets. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like, Max. No, and it's not even trying to be rude, but it's just like... We're not, neither team is like doing anything in this game. And it seems like you guys are very hell bent on one very specific game plan. And if that doesn't change in the second half, we're going to tee the fuck off coming up here pretty soon. We're starting to notice what it is. Um, you guys are selling out ridiculously hard to stop the run right now to the point where if we mix in a play action pass every so often, we fuck the timing of your defense all up and then we can get a big run. That's what happened on that touchdown drive. You guys just, you're like, we're like, all right, you're running it. You're passing it. And it's just like you guessed wrong. And it's like, uh-oh. If they start guessing and start doing a bunch of bad guesses, there's going to be bad plays that start following in the second half. I mean, they made their stop. They're doing good against the run minus one big run. Like, we got 31 yards on one run. Other than that, it's been like two yards a carry. <laughs> I was told by Jets fan Zach Wilson is the GOAT. Did you see him do the gritty and that he does moms? Yeah, that's uh, I'm surprised by that too. I just expected uh, San Francisco's defense to not be shitty. But, you know, apparently not. That's too much to ask for, huh? Miami's quarterback got hurt again because of their bad offensive line. The only thing that's annoying, though, is now Dolphins fans have, like, an excuse to use why their season didn't go the way they hoped it would because their offensive line, even though Mike's about to chime in, like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Atlanta's Atlanta's overperforming. They've had a good year. Mike's about to be like, what about... Because Mike studies Dolphins fans and knows everything about them. Um, yeah, see, I knew it. He's about to correct me and be like, no, no, no. They said their line was great now. They can't even use that. And Mike, you know what's scary? Mike probably has screenshots of them saying it, can pinpoint timestamps in videos. Oh, yeah, I know they blame it all on Flores. I know that for sure. But now they're going to have the offensive line to use. But they use receivers and no line, too. Like, two has been in the mud or something. Oh, yeah, they got Armstead. Who scored that touchdown in the Baltimore game? Was it Duvernay? I got to check that. Because I started Duvernay on one of my uh, teams, and I'm really hoping he scored because uh, Kenyon Drake did. Ah, oh, damn, dude. Damn, that's not good. Not going to have a good fantasy week, it looks like, based on some of these scores. Stevenson, I have him on one of my teams, so one of my teams will have like 13 points. That'll be nice. But I will say the Patriots' defense right now has probably got me a few fantasy points. I think that was a good start. And then Baltimore's defense as well. And with those two across the boards. The O line switched to unlock the O line, and they flipped the coach up that they got from B Baylor U. Yeah, I was gonna say, Mike, you, you, Miami fans won't be able to make excuses if Mike exists. He's gonna be like, no, hold on a minute. I have, I have pictures of you guys telling me that I'm wrong. So, Mike, when do you think Armstead will be back this year, if if at all, or do you think that's his yearly "I'm done for the season" injury? Is that the annual injury? Is he done? Is he just about, that's about it for him? Foot injury? Yeah, I'm, I got my, I put my time in, you guys. I got to get going. Where are you going, Taryn? My annual foot injury. I got to go home. John Johnson III was an awful uh, free agent signing in 2020 for us. It's not a bad contract, at least. Like, it could be worse. You could have gave him, like, more than $11 million for mid-tier safety play. You know, I mean, you know. Hey, we're up to 18 likes, though. If you haven't left a like, uh, consider doing so. Helps us stream out. Once we hit 20, well, we're pretty good on likes. Uh, just wondering why... I feel like it sucks sometimes with the Patriots because I feel like I've been we've been going up against teams that have very big fan bases outside, so it's been hard to stream because I'm getting my fucking views sapped from me. I do much better on random team games. Chiefs drop 100 points. Trey Tate gets his first. Oh, there you go. That'd be idea. Look at that, Stevenson TD. Fair enough. Uh, I think we'll only get worse. The other teams know he is dealing with the big toe. Bad enough that he didn't want to fly home with the team to get it looked at. Yep. Yeah, not good. Not good. Now, there's just nobody here this afternoon. Is I got maybe people are busy this uh this uh, this uh afternoon. Yeah, I've seen that. The Dolphins are cheating and like making it way colder on their sideline than the other teams, kind of like forcing them into heat stroke almost. That's not suspicious at all and probably should be looked into. Yeah, no wonder other teams can't win in Miami. It's almost like they're cheating. Yeah, the only player who gets healthier as the season goes on is Tom Brady. The 
The Patriots have been bitching about the problems in Miami and the weather in Miami for about 12 years now, and no one's believed us. So I've stopped bitching about what happens in Miami. We've been we've been explaining to people that we only they cheat. They're doing something cheap down there, and everyone's like, "You guys just can't accept your losses down there. Learn how to lose." And it's like, yeah, okay, that's fine, but like, it seems abnormally warm for our team. Yeah, I mean, Brady does play good defense usually. I'm sad that he's not playing the best linebacker these days, Steelers Nation. That's Bill Belichick that kills rookies. Brady plays offense, not not defense. You got to understand that. <laughs> it's not like he's out there cracking skulls at linebacker. <laughs> I say it's only ten to nine too. You guys could still blow this game, just like our game. It's only ten six. We could still lose this game, getting get our asses whooped in. If it was like I don't know, like twenty one to nine or something, I'd be like, yeah, you guys are really fucking beating the hell out of them. So like, isn't it like a one point game? <laughs> it's no different than this score. <laughs> yeah, and Brady, you know, back in coverage. Yeah, it's. That's why I don't like quarterback to head to head stuff because it's like, yeah, I get what I get the sentiment, but it's also like, can you really say that the guy's undefeated? Like, they don't play again. Like, yeah, I, again, I get it, but I don't know. Damn, it's still halftime. That's been about 15 minutes by now, right? Oh, I wish I would have cut better track. Half time. Now it's just a black screen. I'm not really sure what's going on with this. Oh, sweet. Game coming back on. Run for the New England Patriots who lead by four at the half. You see some of the numbers. Turnovers. Got one apiece. Eight penalties. Six yeah, it's been a pretty even game. Patriots, Kevin Harlan alongside Trent Green. Belichick. Give me two seconds, guys. I'll be right back, all right? I'm going to go grab a soda. Let's on move my legs a little bit. Ugh. Defense, they haven't let Nick Chubb get going, right? They, they've, they've closed him down. They've not allowed that second and third effort to happen where he breaks tackles and gets into the secondary. They haven't allowed that to happen. Well, it's an interesting game, as you can see, with these two right here. And we got a young quarterback for New England making his second NFL start, the third different quarterback the Patriots have used this season. Hoyer, a Cleveland native, is out with concussion. And, of course, Mac Jones, who, by the way, made the trip with the Patriots here, but uh, is not playing. He did. He, he All right. The trip. He was listed as questionable. They yeah, we're going ball. The game. It's not time for him to get back into the lineup. Bailey Zappi, I think, has played very efficiently. I think he's played very well. He stood in the pocket. He's 11 of 17. Here we go. 141 yards, and I think overall, he's handled himself very well. First and 10 of the 25. Go over his head, out of the end zone, touch back to the 25, to the sideline, and Melanie Cowan. Thank you, Kevin. Well, despite having the lead at the half, Bill Belichick not happy with the season high eight penalties in the first half. He said, we've got to clean those up and be more disciplined all around. Christian Barmore ruled out with a knee injury, guys. Ah, Kevin knee injury for Barmore. That's not good. Our biggest issue. We've got to stay out of third and long and finish drives. He's happy with his run defense so far in the half, but he said, we knew this would be a close battle. His message to Jacoby Brissett, stay focused and do your job. Mel, thanks. And those are the numbers you see right there for... Lined up in an I formation, and they hand it off, and that's nothing there. Yeah, Barmore's out with the knee. Not good. Well, this is shaping up to be a game like the Browns have had all season long. I know we touched in the first half about Joe Woods, the defensive coordinator. And how all right, that's fine. Hey, just get things going. Get the clock moving. Get the, get the half going. Second down, nine. 
these games are close. They lost second half underway. Gotta remember, patience is the key here. We got a rookie. We just gotta hope that something breaks and we get a big play. Uh oh, we gotta be aware of the dogs though. You see them signs in the background. Let's get away from them dogs. Jonu Smith with a nice catch. Oh, look out! He breaks the tackle. He's going. Oh, all the way to the 21. His first actual play as a Patriot, I think. All right. Finally starting to show some worth outside of blocking. <laughs> He's a really good blocker. Why are you guys deleting your messages? Two missed tackles, and Jonu Smith gets it down close to the 20-yard line of the Browns. That was weird. Recognition and throw by Zappi, and Jonu Smith doing the rest. Yeah, I don't like the elf either. I'm glad we don't have to look at it now. All right, we're back down. Now we're to the Browns 21. Good run there, or a good uh, play there by uh, Jonu. Yeah, I don't know why they don't use the dog no more. Dog. By the way, like I said, though, the, the Browns are... No, you guys are good. Second and four, though. Um, like I said, though, the Browns selling out to stop the run is going to wind up hurting them in the pass game because the Browns are going to think run, 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 and then eventually they, they can just drop in a fucking pass like that. Every pass that's been like that has been wide open because of the run. You like go back and watch some of the play, uh, like um, Myers catches or the part or the catch by Smith. Those guys are wide open um, in the NFL. Look at that, just like that. Like Hunter Henry was wide open. It's a, a basic NFL wide open. I should I should put a caveat on what I'm saying. When you're that, when you're, when there's no one that can make a play on you and you can catch it, you're basically NFL wide open. That right there in the NFL is wide open. There's zero shot and anybody could have made a play on that ball, like almost in the world. <laughs> That'll be down at the three. And that's not a shot at the Browns. I think they're just really trying not to get beat by the run today, which is admirable, like for what they've been dealing with this season. They're doing very good for what, you know, has been a Achilles heel for them all year. Now he gets all the way to the two. Second and goal at the two. Two yard line, second and goal. Ah, uh, wins back in. Uh oh. Because Cannon isn't quite ready to do a full game yet. That's the problem is Cannon isn't... I don't think Cannon's play. I don't think Cannon played last year. I'm going to be real. I think he just was chilling last season for some reason. Ah, off the hands of Thornton was so close to a touchdown. Good try. I like that quick play right there. Third and goal at the two. Exactly, Mike. Exactly. All right. You know what? They should do that again. I'm not going to lie. Do it again. That exact same play, run it again. Like, if I was doing Madden, I'd run that play again with the exact same route. Uh, like, just repeat it. Just do it again. Just do I mean, If I'm Patricia, I'm like, do that again. That exact same play, do it again. Okay, they got it flipped, though. They got it mirrored. It's mirrored. It's the same play from the other side. Look. Oh, never mind. Oh, touchdown, Thorne. Let's go. Let's go. Ty Guo, Tariq Thornton. Let's go. The greatest wide receiver bust draft in NFL history, Tyreek Thornton, or Tariq Thornton, Tyquan Thornton, rather. I keep calling him Tariq, and I, and I don't know why I keep doing Oh, Mike, I, the nickname Tariq Thornton has gotten into my head in a hilarious way. Man, he's going to be good. Taekwon. Oh, he's going to be good. Good drive there by the Patriots to open up the half. Let's go. Good opening drive. 11-22 remains here in the uh, in the third. 11-22 remains here in the third. Taekwon Thornton with his first NFL reception for... Uh, well, first touchdown reception. No, it's Tariq Thornton. Because, you know, he's taller than Tyreek. Damn, dude, Atlanta's up 28-14. Jesus Christ. 
Who? Where did you hear Tall Reek Thornton? Like you had to. Like was that a uh, master at work? That seems like a creation that would come out of master at work, more so than um anybody else. <laughs> or at least from that chat, from like in that chat rooms, uh, in, on his streams and shit. Vikings winning it. In, oh, the Vi yeah, Vikings are up. Uh, let's see if there's any major lead changes to announce. Nope. Everything seems to be pretty much stasis. Yeah, Jacob, you guys are beating the Steelers, but it looks like the it looks like the Bucks might score here, or uh, you guys are beating the bu Bucks, but it's they got a first and ten at your thirteen. Here comes Brady. Second half, Brady's a whole different monster. What's up, Wyatt? Or uh, what's up, JJ? Dodgers, uh, Vikings winning right now. Let's yep. Since Dodgers out, go Philly. No, let's go Padres. No, he got it from someone else. See, okay, so where the hell is Tall Reek? So Tall Reek is... That might be you then. No, I don't think... It's a good nickname. Tall Reek Thornton is hilarious. Uh, due to speed, very similar play styles as the receivers probably as he gets going. It's nice to see we actually might have gotten a receiver right. I can't believe it. We might have hit one. And you know what's even funnier about us finally hitting on a wide receiver? Um, is that, like, we got a receiver right from Baylor. <laughs> this is, like, of all the places to go draft a receiver from, Baylor is, like, the actual place you're not supposed to go. And usually those guys don't turn out good. And then all of a sudden, we get, we're just like, all right, we'll try this one. And everyone's like, oh, why did they do this? And now it's like... Oh, actually, this guy seems pretty solid, this Ta Taekwon Thornton. Remember correctly, it came from a Patriots cat like four months ago. Okay, so it's probably just been a running nickname because he's very fast. And I think he kind of looks like... Ta uh, no, he doesn't look like Ty uh, Ta uh, Tyreek. Yeah, we just can't be drafting first rounders. Yeah. Late round or... From Baylor where nobody else can get a receiver to work in the NFL from Do you know that's the hilarious truth about Baylor is they have very good receivers but like all of them suck in the NFL they're all like just fast dudes who can't catch the football we got lucky with one the irony of the team that can't draft receivers drafting the only guy from Baylor to be worth the fuck is not lost on me that's just, it just means it was destined to work the school that can't produce NFL quality receivers and the team that can't draft receivers unless it's like a crazy late pick. By the way, it's first and 10 at the 25 for the Browns. First and 10 at the 25, 11, uh, what's the clock? 11.30? 11.22, sorry. Malcolm Mitchell would have been good without the injuries, though. That's that's not very fair. But yeah, the, again, yeah, late round. He might have been third, though, actually. What's up, Dre? Got home from work? Hell yeah, glad to hear Hey, there we go. Tackled him up in the backfield. Good job by Matthew Judon and company. Uh, Judon was player of the week last week. Sheesh. Second down and 12 coming up. Third or second and 12. Let's see if we can get a couple stops here. Need a big couple plays. See if we can put some pressure on. Oh, you're counting him as a hit. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Mal Mitchell would have been good without the injuries. That injury was just fucking gay. It sucked. Third and 12. All right, good start. Jaguars just uh, scored again to go up 21 pending the extra point 13. What's up, Eric? It's been a decent game so far. I don't like this. That was a good fucking catch. God damn it. Now, there's not much Mills could have done with that one. <laughs> there's literally just whatever, dude. <laughs> that just happens sometimes. Whatever. Cooper just fucking snagged it. 
What a good catch. Jesus Christ. Mills played that perfectly, but like, I don't, other than like somehow getting like a little faster, which is really hard to do on a play like that. You can't be mad at Mills on that one. That was, that was a good try. Fuck Cooper unreal though. <laughs> That was a snag. That was a snag, wasn't it, Mike? Holy shit! I, I, normally, I'd be mad at Mills on a play like that, but I, I literally, Mills is still pissy about that. Oh, I thought that was Judon drawn. I thought Ju Mills was still drawn. I was like, Mills, what are you mad about? That was that was unless he's just saying that was a really good catch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude! That was like Parker's catch earlier. Like, if you're a Browns fan, you can't even be mad about some shit like that. Like, nah, he just he just fucking. <laughs> He just man caught that football for off that guy. Second and nine. Uh oh. Why is this buffering? All right. Oh, that was almost offsides. Second and nine. Third and nine. And the pressure came from Jawan Bentley. So Bentley was coming up. Wait, Skylar Thompson got. I thought. I thought it was known Skylar Thompson got hurt. I thought Teddy had to come in. Or did Teddy get hurt again? Ain't no way it's like <laughs> Skyler got hurt, so Teddy comes back in, then Teddy got hurt again, so now they gotta bring in another new guy. Ain't no way that that's the actual situation going on. If so, that's absolutely hilarious. Third and nine. Well, not, not that they're hurt, but that the Dolphins are going through this. Oh, they ruled him out. Marcus Jones almost got his first career pick. Hold on, that's picked. Oh, just missed it, Marcus. No, he just missed it. Motherfucker, he just missed it. If you're New England, you might want to challenge that. Nah, you know what? It's a punt anyway. Just take the punt. They're going to take the delay of game here. They're going to take the dog here. Back up four and then... Actually, I don't know why they're taking the delay of game right there. That seems like a weird spot to take one. It's very purposeful. Like, it's a purposeful delay of game right there by the Browns, by the way. They, they took that penalty on purpose, but I don't know why they did. They were in a pretty good spot to pin that pretty fucking deep. Yeah, it was a really, it was good. He was that was good defense. Marcus Jones uh, might have just made, put himself out there now. Um, if you're uh, if you're Bentley or uh, not Bentley, but um, Miles Bryant, I'd be a little nervous about that shit. About Marcus Jones making that play. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. It. it they literally just missed because like that's a negligible play <laughs> unless they just oh jesus what a hit uh that goes to the 39 though patriots get the ball back at their own 39 yard line first and 10 for the patriots at their own 39 it's commercial break coming up on the change of possession uh his leg leg uh, i mean he did tap his foot dude He might have tapped his leg down there. He That might have been a clean pick. But either way, I mean, we got the ball at better field position anyway. Yeah, I don't know, Mike. It seems like they, like, normally I'd understand to, like, back up and get a little bit more room to punt, but they were already in, like, pretty good spot. They'd have, <laughs> I don't know. That ball would have been punted to, like, the 15-yard line. Yeah, that was, unless they were worried about him p pushing it in the end zone. But it's also, like, well, now we're at the 40, so it's, like, well, that's not good. Really, that's not good. I shouldn't have picked the Packers, man. Has any of my picks turned around? Hey, ah, oh, damn, the Steelers had the... They had the lead, and then they blew it. Them fucking bums. How did, how, did, how did that happen? How did Tampa Bay get a lead and then seemingly blow it all at the same time? And now they're about to retake the lead, 15-13? Am I reading this right? Or did they just hit the field goal to make it 12 to 13? I don't know. That game looks like it sucks. A lot of these games look awful. Let's be honest. There isn't a lot of very good football being played this afternoon except by the Patriots. 
Bailey Zappi should be MVP based on today's performance. Field goal 13, 12 steals. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Damn, Tampa's not playing good, dude. Nobody's really playing that good today. What the hell's going on? Literally, there's like one game with good scoring going on, and it's this, uh, t like, these two games, <laughs> and then kind of this game. At like four games, though, you have teams still in the single digits. That's a, that's a quite a uh, low scoring amount of points in that. Baltimore is up there. There's been no lead changes, though, to report on, which is, um, I think, important. Uh-oh. Hey, yeah, Miles Garrett got us early. That was annoying. All right. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Barry? Goat Barry. Make sure if you haven't left a like, consider doing so. It'll help the stream out. Might get us up over 20 likes in the stream. Hey, thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate you. That's too far too kind. What's with back? Ba Boom. I appreciate you, Daniel. Ah, uh, that's holding. No, like I said, if the Jets actually win this game, we might actually just have to think that the Jets are just a, like a halfway decent football team. Because at some point, it's like, well, they're either winning by fluke or they're actually just kind of like a decent team. Um, and based on what we're seeing today, they might actually be like a decent football team because of their defense. Now this offense has the opposing offense right away. Yep, yep, exactly, Mike. We're forcing them to have to play outside of their game plan, which is deeper throws, throws, not being able to utilize the run game because they're behind, multi-scores. Yep, Patriots are in a very comfortable situation. Um, it's And it's basically because we're up by 11. Multi-score, yeah, they have to kind of throw it. Yep, exactly. About to tie George Hallis if we can uh, hold on today at some point. What are we at, second and 12? Or second and 18? We doing any 4 o'clock? No, I don't, I'm not going to be around for 4 o'clock. I'm going to chill out. Jets de yeah, Jets defense is solid. Salah seems to be have that team playing good. Yeah, the Bucks that can't beat the Steelers, which has been hilarious. Third and about 12 coming up. No, no, I'm not. Nope. I'm going to cover Sunday night. I'm going to eat and chill out and... I kind of want to play some uh, GTA. I've been getting uh, kind of far into this role play arc I'm on. I'm bordering on uh, the crime turn coming. Ah, damn it. Seven twenty coming up. Patriots will have to punt it away. Seventeen to six. The score is though. Seven twenty remains in the third. Seven twenty remains in the third quarter. Eagles, Cowboys, good. Cowboys better win. Yeah, I'll be on that one. Nah, I don't, I'm not really interested in the uh, Bills, uh, Chiefs. I mean, I don't like either team. If it's not prime time, I generally don't like watching teams I don't like. What's up, Tater Chip? All right. <clears throat> First and 10 at the 28 for the Browns. Not a bad punt. Yeah, I can't root for either team in that game. Um, I guess I'd prefer the Chiefs to win just because I think it's funny when Bills fans lose, but I also don't want to deal with Chiefs fans overly pumping their chest because they beat the goddamn uh, Bills. So it's like, ah, oh, goddamn it. I can't. I don't win in that game. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest punt, but also, I don't know, putting him at the 30 isn't the worst. Hey, we're up to 22 likes. I appreciate that, everybody. If you haven't left a like, consider doing so. Helps us out, but we're up over the like goal of 20, so thank you very much. How far was it? Uh, boy, I don't know. Uh, 35 yards. Yeah. 
not bad. I mean, we were at the like the forty, so to get it to inside the thirty isn't too terrible. Watch Rams lose to Panthers. I mean, based on the way some of these games are going, they might. I mean, shit, the Jets are up ten to three. Um, Atlanta's up twenty eight to fourteen. Uh, oh, the Bengals just made it a two point game. Um, Tampa Bay is losing to the Steelers. Like this is a weird day. This is a weird day so far. It's commercial break, by the way, in this game. Is it just me or do the Bills get more credit for almost beating the Chiefs than the Chiefs do? Uh, fat tater chip. I agree a hundred percent. And um, the Bills get more credit for accomplishing nothing than any team I've ever seen in my entire life. People act like Josh Allen is like the reigning MVP and like the reigning Super Bowl MVP. And this man has never like led the league in any major statistical category. Never led the league in wins, touchdown passes, yards thrown for, completion percentage, throws attempted, uh, quarterback rush yards, quarterback touchdowns for a running quarterback. Not Nothing. And everyone says he's better than Mahomes. And I'm not the biggest. Like, I, I, again, I, I respect how good Mahomes is. I'm not a fan of the guy. But it's like he's nowhere near as good as Patrick Mahomes. I'm sorry. Mahomes, I seen this with my own two eyes. I watched it. I seen Mahomes flying through the air sideways, throw a football 40 plus yards, and hit Tyree Kill in the motherfucking hands. And Tyree Kill dropped it. No one can take that from my head. That happened in a Super Bowl game. That was the craziest throw I've ever seen in my life. No one will ever do that again. I'm sorry, that's a unique arm talent. Yeah, I hate that too. Again, Josh is great, but to say he's already ahead of Mahomes feels crazy to me. Win a win a Super Bowl first, and then I, then I will be like, all right, yeah, you can finally have that argument. Again, I'm very Super Bowl based, like an autistic idiot. All right, first and ten, ball at the uh, 27, 28. Brissett throws, picked, yeah, Jalen Mills finally a pick. And he's down at the 40. Yeah, win a Super Bowl versus the Eagles. Yeah, that'd be nice. Let's go. Colts tied it up. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm hoping the Jags can take the lead there. Jalen Mills. Because he's goaded, bro. Because they're throwing it to Ninjoku or Amari Cooper. 90. That's all they've thrown to. They're not throwing anywhere near uh, Peoples Jones because of Jack Jones. And the Jets are up 17-3. to three. Jesus Christ. And then we also, yeah, and Mills, you know, he's always around. Mike, you know what I hope happens? That Marcus and Jack eventually take over as the starting corners for the outsides. And that we can start using Jalen Mills in the same way that we use the... Um, J.C. Jackson to make him better because I don't think J.C. Jackson's very good in straight up coverage um, or um, 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 Jalen Mills is very good in straight up like one on one kind of like J.C. struggles with but if you put J.C. as like a floating corner and I think if you put Jalen Mills as a floating corner like he was on that play he's so fucking fast and athletic to get to footballs I think you can utilize Jalen Mills in the same way we made J.C. Jackson start to develop along really quickly. And it's kind of like a free-floating corner, uh, but not exactly a safety, not exactly a corner, kind of like this weird quasi-position. Uh, but it's Because, again, it's not slot. It's not anything. It's not really – it's just like a go be an extra corner. Oh, that's so close to a first. Third and one. Fuck you. Jets blocked it. Jesus Christ. Let's go, Jets, I guess. What is crazy? You want to know what is really crazy? What's What's really crazy? Yeah, we can rotate corners. Winers losing. Sheesh. To the Falcons. Yeah, I know. It's 28-14. It's crazy. All right. Third and one. We got screwed on the spot there. That should have been a first. Jonu Smith is out here balling today. Damn, they haven't, we, haven't, we haven't lost to the Browns since 2010. Jesus Christ. Hunter Henry, wide open, touchdown! Oh, shit! The Browns really bit on the run there for some reason. Jesus Christ, why the hold? What happened? Why was he so open? 
What happened here? Here's Henry. He's at the end of his motion. Delpit's coming over the top. Watch as Henry on the snap of the ball cuts inside. Delpit oh, Delpit fell down. Damn, dude. Delpit fell down. And, okay, I was going to say, they didn't even bite hard on the PA. Delpit just slipped. He got, like, fucking blown up or something. It looks like Henry's route made him slip. Oof. 24 to 6. Patriots take the lead with 5.32 to go. Yeah, Delpit got shook out of his underoos. Oof, boy, this is getting. What's up, Steelers Nation? Even when. Oh, boy. Yeah, Max isn't going to be a happy guy. This is your first time picking the Jets. It seems like you're gonna. It's gonna pay off for you. All right. Uh, five thirty-two remains here in the third quarter. Five thirty-two remains here in the third quarter. Patriots take a twenty-four to six lead on the touchdown pass from Young Bailey Zappi to Mister Hunter Henry. Let's see what we got else around the league. The Jets have taken a 17 to 3 lead. Uh, it looks like they took the two points off, and the Jaguars still have a 21 19 lead over the Colts. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, uh, Kevin just came in and said that. Um, everything else still looks exactly the same, except the Giants have it first and goal. Um, and Tampa has the ball back now, but it's, you know, not going so well, it looks like, based on it being first and 17. Yeah, that's uh, like one, two, looking like a guaranteed at least two losses. Everything else is still very much in play on my uh, early set of pick here. Eat that clock. And yeah, we still got a while to go. Yeah, 24 to 6 is uh, comebackable, but now that we they kind of have to throw it, you know, it's a, it's a bit different. You think there's a QB, QB controversy? No. The way I look at this, if the offense is clicking this well, when Matt comes back in, if he doesn't perform at least this well, yeah, then we'll have a quarterback controversy. But till we see Matt come back, and now that the offense understands how to work it, because again, when Matt was starting this off, again, the offense looked kind of bad at the start of the season. Guys didn't know where to go. The run wasn't working it. Uh, guys were, like, out of position, it seemed like. Mac was, like, trying to fucking, f like, frantically point guys in the right direction the first couple games. That's not happening now. You want to know why? No, Zappi's not going to keep the starting job. No, 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 no. Our offense is extremely limited. We're back in the... We're not doing any RPOs right now, which is a big part of our offense. Um, what this is, is the rest of the pieces of this offense now understanding how to operate inside of the West Coast offense. That's what this means, you guys. Please understand that. That Mac Jones, as a second-year player, was trying to get all of these guys to immediately get used to a West Coast offense because he was the only one who understood how to run it. It was, it was good. Now we've seen it slowly, just slowly start coming together. Again, you got to remember Mac Jones before he got hurt against the Ravens, minus those three throws. Again, he had bad three throws. Um, the three bad picks. He, that was like his best career. He had thrown for 320 yards, which is a career high. He was, him and Parker were clicking together. Things were clicking in that game. And now we see like the offense is running very crisp routes. Guys are getting wide open. Schemes are working from Patricia. Things are starting to work with Matt. The offense is bought into Matt Patricia too, because hey, this fucking working with Matt. So it's a lot of things that wasn't exactly going on when we still had Matt. It kind of clicked in with the Ravens. We could see it game one to game two to game three. The offense was improving, improving, improving. I would imagine that Bailey or uh, Mac is going to come back in and it'll be a lot smoother looking. But hey, maybe Matt comes back and keeps throwing picks and then Bailey takes the job. I don't know. But again, Max Moore in the second year stage of being a starter where they kind of take all the training wheels off a guy. Um, because with second year quarterbacks, you see a lot of sophomore slump with them. Not because they're bad all of a sudden. They just like suck. It's not random. This is a very specific thing that they never really talk about. They're a sophomore slump. And they, that's the analysis you get for a second year quarterback and why they don't play. The reason they're sophomore slumps for a good second year quarterbacks Training wheels get removed, right? All the training wheels come off. They get unscrewed. That'll be third down and 10 coming up. Good defense there to swat it down. Wise with the big play. And uh, so, and then guys learn that and 
training wheels of plays come off. You're not be, you're not told where the ball is going to go before the play, right? You're you're told, hey, make some reads and throw the fucking ball. You know, let the play develop. Hey, go through your second reads. If you want to wait, go through read one, then go through reads two. Th you know, your second set of reads, and then take the shot downfield if you want. You can do that now as a second year guy, and we've seen that with Mac. You're learning where like your arm strengths are. You're learning like, all right. I tried to throw it 30 yards downfield and got picked. Third and 10. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, we sacked him. Fourth and 12. But, um, oh, Mac Wilson was in on the play. Let's go, Anthony and Mac Wilson. Let's go. But, um, so instead of taking that 30 yard shot downfield, Instead, they learn, all right, maybe I shouldn't take the that play where I'm getting picked off on consistently. I'll throw it 17 yards downfield on a bullet where I'm hitting about 85 to 90% completion percentage on the left hash mark. Like, they're learning where they can throw the ball, what they can't do, as opposed to what they can do. They already know what they can do in the NFL for the most part, right? They know they can complete throws. They know they can do this, that, or the other. They don't know what they can't necessarily do. If that makes sense. That's what your second year is. Any good quarterback should use the second year to find out what they can't really do too well. Um, so that way you know where to build on. Figure out what your arm strength actually is. See what it looks like compared to like what pro speed is. You know, there's a lot of learning. Are the, Falcon, are the, are the Packers look kind of bad. Yeah, exactly, Mike. Exactly. Exactly. Things aren't, it's not hand holding anymore for a good second year quarterback or a second year starting quarterback. If the Falcons, Jets hold on, a potential loss for the G Men won't be that bad. No, it wouldn't be. And you guys are playing really good too against the Ravens, who've been, are tricky. When the Ravens are playing a full game, they're a very tough team to play against. Zappy hands it off here. And not much going there. Oh, Kevin Harris. Hey, it's Harris. Yeah, little Kevin Harris. By the way, we've given him like a million dollars to be like a practice squad player. Do you know how rare that is for a team to just like hand over? We've gave him like $700,000. No, the Patriots love Kevin Harris. You have no idea. We've given him like so, something like, like, like a crazy amount of money to be on the practice squad. <laughs> And that's very, like, we've given him basically, like, he's like an everyday starting, like a fully, I don't know what it is. We want him to stick around on this team. I think Bill's, I think Bill sees him as the replacement for Harris if Harris doesn't want to um, take a discount to stay with the Patriots, which I got a feeling Damian Harris is going to wind up taking a discount to stay with the Patriots. But don't hold me to that. Because, again, Damian is going to make good money with the, as a running back. It's like, but he could probably make more on the open road. That's the uh, big issue. Third and two coming up. Oh, timeout. Patriots take a timeout. Three twenty to go in the third. They just want him to work on that fumbling issue that he's got. That he had in the preseason, anyway. I wonder if the Packers are about to walk it in and score a touchdown. They have it first and 10 at the 25, so we'll see. Well, he just said he liked to, he won a lot of football games. He played a lot of football. And obviously the numbers that Zappi was able to, over 15,000 yards passing and 140 touchdowns. Outside they go. Ah, that, that was a bad play. That was a minus one yard loss. They tried the little screen boosh and they didn't go anywhere. Now, see if the Patriots were to take a penalty here, that would make more sense, right? Because they're at midfield, right? Like, for example, like this is where you take the delay a game or whatever and back up five yards, so you're not punting it from fucking goddamn midfield. That's why I was so confused why the Browns did that earlier. There, it's like, aren't you guys at like the thirty-five? What? Why are you backing up to the thirty? <laughs> it's not like you're gonna. Risk the guy like this is a hundred percent. They're gonna let the clock run here, and they're also gonna let uh, just take the delay a game to back up five. Like this is where you do that. Yeah, that's an easy call. You just auto. You just you don't kick it from midfield, especially when you got a big leg punter. Leg 
game. Offset, five yard penalty. What's that? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Patriots washed at Miami. They won at Pittsburgh. They lost two. By the way, thank you to everyone who's left a like so far. If you haven't done so, consider doing so. Helps the stream out. Last week. And these Browns, my goodness, they've lost three games by three points or less. They have really been close. Bailey with the punt. Rogers, the former. Ah, it didn't get very good hang time, but it got down there. It was a good punt. Hold them to about the 20. Good job. Good job there by the Patriots to hold, put it inside the 20. Cooler's been great. He's 100% uh, Slater's replacement, right? He's clearly being like mentored to replace uh, Big uh, Slater, which is sad because Slater's clearly on his way out. But, I mean, I'm stunned he's still in the motherfucking game. <laughs> But he's the way he speaks on Schooler is so highly like Schooler's clearly like the guy they want to replace. Um, they don't want anyone to replace Slater, but they got to find somebody. Yep. Yeah, he replaced Bethel and will take over for Slater. Exactly. I think Slater wants him to replace him. Oh, the Browns fans are trolling right now because they got a five-yard run there, and so now they're trolling. Holy shit, Browns fans are brutal right now. They're pissed. Oof. You got to love the sarcastic cheer there. That was uh, that was an annoyed-ass sarcastic cheer. Yeah, he got to catch that one. Third and five. Minute 43 to go in the third. We still have the whole fourth quarter left. Jesus Christ. This was supposed to be the fastest game of the afternoon, by the way. If you had asked me to predict what game was going to finish first, I'd have been like, oh, Patriots, Browns. They'll finish like five, ten minutes before anyone else goes even close to being final. Hey, first down for the Browns. Damn, that was ugly. First and 10 to the uh, 45. Packers just scored to make it 17-10. Minnesota just scored again. What else we got going? Yeah. Had nothing to do with my bias. Judon just missed a big hit on that bastard. God damn it. <sighs> Screen pass. God damn it. To the 23 goes Chubb. Well, we're not going to contain them all game. We just we got to get this in check now here. They're starting to move kind of good. All right, time to time to time to shore things up a little bit here. The fuck is going on? Wait, Mariota had had a completion. What well, what's his numbers? Uh, ape. Oh, incomplete. That was close. Second down and ten. Four seconds left in the third. This will probably be the last quarter play of the quarter. Second and ten. Just a little too far down the middle of the field. Ooh. Just off the fingertips of Najoku. So Najoku. Probably would have been a touchdown if uh, 13 of 14 for 100 yards. Damn, that's pretty solid numbers. <laughs> that's super accurate. Incomplete. That could that was almost picked. It could have been very bad for the Browns. The third quarter comes to a close, though. End of the third quarter. End of the third. It's uh, 
third quarter is that, you know, coming to a close. So I'm going to mute it. Commercial break as it's going to a new court, uh, quarter. It's 24 to 6 in favor of the Patriots. Patriots are with a 24 to 6 lead. 13 to 14, 129 and 2. Yeah, that's super efficient. Uh, yeah, fourth quarter coming up. Browns have the ball, third and 10 at the New England 23. Third and 10 at the New England 23 for the Browns. And uh, it's a 24 to 6 lead for the Patriots. Looking across the league, there isn't really any notable lead changes quite yet. Um, this one might become one. Because I'm pretty sure the Colts could kick a field goal here and actually take the lead. Because it's uh, 21-19, and they're at the 25, it says. That should be field goal range. But no, in the new NFL, no one really ever kicks field goals, so that's probably not a field goal. They're probably going for it. Fourth and 10 is a pretty doable distance, so. Yeah, but advanced analytics say if I go for it, then... Uh, oh, they got a first and goal. They went for it. I wonder what happened. Why the fuck did they go for it? That's a <laughs> seems like bad football to go for it when you could have took the lead there. I guess that don't really matter, though, huh? Baltimore just uh, went up 20 to 10, it looks like. Saints are up by five. Uh oh. They got hurt. Oh, that's not good. We're just waiting for the game to come back here in the uh, fourth quarter to get underway. Watching, waiting for the Beals. Oh, yeah, you guys are probably uh, the big game of the week, right? Hey, we're up to 26 likes, too. I appreciate that, guys. Very cool. Very kind. They're coming back on. I didn't big brain and put Cobbin. Yeah, I put Cobbin. I feel pretty, pretty fucking stupid for that one. In the third, lead 24 6. We start the fourth. Third and 10 coming up. Patriot defense, no touchdowns allowed in the last seven quarters. And they, got and they keep it that way. With the third and 10 for the Browns at the New England 23. Jets scored a touchdown. Sheesh. To the outside. Looks like he's matched up on Colts the scored a touchdown too and took the lead. The indicator to reset that it's going to be man coverage. Third and ten, ball at the twenty-three. They rush eight, including Duggar. Look out! Got him! He's got him. Ball is loose. Was it thrown or is it a fumble? Out of bounds. It's batted by Donovan Peoples Jones. And again, Dietrich Wise comes through and pressures the pocket. Having a big day today. Even when he's high five and his teammates, he's falling down. He's all over the joint. Well, Kevin, that's the flag. You, you put in Alec Pierce. Oh, fair enough. That's out of bounds, by the way. Oh, illegal bat. That's going to be a penalty on the... Uh, that's a loss of down penalty, too. So not only will that be a 10-yard loss for the Browns, it'll be fourth down. You can't bat the ball like that the way that they just did that. So that was a fumble, by the way. Just like the way that they called that on Bailey Zappi earlier. That ball was out of bounds. So the, them batting it out of bounds is against the rules. So the Browns will have to take the field goal here because it's uh, now a super long field goal situation. Yeah, can't do that. That's called bitch-ass play because we could have recovered that. Well, good job. I mean, good job essentially by Peoples Jones because we probably recover that. 24 to 10 Jets. Jesus Christ. All right, well, see if we can stop this field. Maybe we block the field goal, but I doubt it. It'll probably be good. Ten yards from where the ball went out of bounds. It was ten yards from the previous line of scrimmage. So, well, that's why we have Gene's territory. Like, you right. know, I know he's back so, there. It's a 51-yard try by York, who began the season with a game. Patriots exposed to everybody how to beat the Packers, and they haven't looked the same since. Packers really got lucky that Bailey Zappi started against them. That's all I have to say. Three and a half hours before kickoff, walking around, checking the wind, and doing very lucky that we they got Bailey Zappi in out of on a cold start. Right here, he 
Hey, they make the field goal, though. All right. So now it's uh, 24 to 9. Patriots holding on to a 13 point lead here. 13 point lead for the New England Patriots. Or wait, or is it? It's 11. 11 point lead for the Patriots. Holy moly. Um, can't do math. No, wait. It is 13, right? The fuck am I doing wrong here? Or is it 15? 10 would be 14. So, yeah, 9 is 15. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I knew I was doing bad math somewhere. Colts lead 26-20. Yeah, now it's 26-21. Yeah, crazy. Um, But, yeah, the Colts did re grab the lead. Miami made it a six-point game, it looks like. Tampa Bay is struggling, man. They just can't get it going. It is the week of the underdog, it looks like, though. Yeah, Colts are coming back. Rob, Goofy, Ab, Math. Yeah, you're a Goofy, Ab, uh, guy named Fernando. <laughs> Got him. Dab on the losers. Dab on. Yeah, it's pretty bad to lose to the Jets. Hopefully that doesn't happen to the Patriots, though. <laughs> a little nervous about playing them guys now. That's going to suck dick. Then again, we probably won't lose to a quarterback playing as goddamn bad as um <laughs> as bad as fucking uh Wilson. We'll make them we'll make him pay. Oh, you guys don't understand. I don't know how the fuck people keep um Aaron Rodgers Tuesday. He might cancel this week. Well, it'll be the Browns kicking off to the Patriots coming up pretty soon here once the game comes back on. Oh, shit, it's back on. By the way, is the audio good? Oh, shit, unmuted. I can turn it up if it needs to be, but I, I'm assuming it's been decent. Um, I've asked a few times, but no one's really said anything. I'm, I'm just guessing it's fine. Audio's good. That's what I thought. I mean, it probably could be a little louder, I'm guessing, but uh, from what I'm looking at on my numbers here, it looks good. No, sorry, dude. Why do you need it again? Are you basically just here so you can try to make the stream have less people in it? I mean, not trying to be rude or anything, but like... Why do you need it again? Isn't it in your, like, history? Play action here. Wide open play to uh, Jacoby Myers out to the 50-yard line. No, it's fine. I mean, I don't mind. It's just a little suspicious. It's the last time I'm going to give it to you, uh, probably for a while. So don't expect it to... I mean, it's not even a hard name to remember, man. It, it's like... Like, look at the name of the link. And then try... Like, I, I don't mind giving it, but it's also like, man, you don't need to ask. Like, can't you remember the name? It's a very memorable name. At least to me, anyway. It's called mess streams. <laughs> it's not like it's like a it's not like it's a tricky name or anything. It's methstreams.com. It's very uh memorable in my opinion. It's like crack streams but like meth. Yeah, that was a good run stop there. Second down and 10. But yeah, no problem. Yeah, the Browns again. The Browns have done a pretty good job with the run. As you said, he's been spreading the football around. 
No, normally you'd see like streaming sites. They're named like L M N O F Y B three three T two two Y dot McGillicuddy Foreman Foreman Mills uh, X squared plus B squared equals C squared with a weird triangle one two nine seven three eight seven B one X Y three four dot I R. Like, why are all these so long? What what is the point of this? That way they can't find it. And then it's like two days later, it's shut down by the federal government. It's like, yeah, good job, retard. <laughs> and then you got stuff like mess streams. Like, yeah, this is what we do. It's just mess streams. Yeah, again, yeah. I'm wondering what the next one is. PCP streams. Just to keep it on more of like an upper kind of stimulant thing. I don't know very many stimulants outside of meth and cocaine and crack. Molly. Yeah, it could be my, uh, Molly. I don't know if... Is that an... Oh, yeah, I guess that's upper. X squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, I know my math. Anyway, 11.55 remaining here in the quarter. Bailey Zappi is 20 of 30 for 294 yards and a couple TDs. Having himself quite the game. Hair on streams. That'd be funny. Bailey Zappi is about to surpass Mac Jones' career high for yards thrown for. Uh-oh. Is there an actual... There, there could be a quarterback controversy brewing. I'm not going to say anything. But like, you know, fucking... Wait, is this mic on? Hello? Uh oh Listen. I was capping with everything I just said underneath my breath. Mac Jones don't play this fucking good. Get rid of him. Let me start Zappy full term. the fuck is this? Hey, there's 300 right here. Look. It, two, that's 300. <laughs> uh, uh oh. 23 of 31, 315 yards, and two touchdowns. Oh boy, Zappy's playing really good, dude. <laughs> he's all the way to. Uh oh. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you'll see a quarterback lose his job while injured. <laughs> Fucking Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe's like, huh, really? You don't think so, huh? You don't think this piece of shit would do that? It's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, Drew. I completely forgot how you lost your job in New England. That's crazy. Best case scenario, just best case scenario. That's true. Fuck it. And yeah, if Matt comes back in and can't play, you fucking run Bailey Zappy's ass out there and play him all the way through. Fuck it. Till he sucks. But again, I think you still let Matt come back and be the starter. Again, if he can't do it though. Or you question things and kind of make some changes potentially. You know, you're not you don't have to necessarily be married to Mac. But god damn it, of course, dude. Why why is this happening to us? If I was someone who hated the Patriots, I'd be watching Bailey Zappi play and be like, ain't no fucking way this is happening again, dude. Ain't no fucking way that they draft a guy in the first round that has a bunch of talent and is probably going to be a decent quarterback, but then they draft some dude late in the draft. Nobody sees it coming, and a weird set of injuries puts him in line to become the star. It's like, don't bullshit. This ain't happening again. If I hated the Patriots, I'd be very weirded out by this. I'd be like, oh, this is not good. I've seen this happen before. Jets fans are watching this with like severe PTSD going. Yeah, Mike, he is. Come on. I was told by everybody all off season that it was a bad idea to hire Matt, make Matt Patricia the, off, the coordinator. That's all ESPN told me. They laughed at us, by the way. Laughed. Ah, ah, ah. Because the Raiders' offense is so much better than ours this season. 
touched by Newsom. Because Miami's offense is so much better than ours this season. Skylar Thompson looks a lot more prepared to be a NFL quarterback than um, than Bailey Zappi, who plays for like three defensive head coaches. <laughs> and Joe Judge, Matt Patricia, and Bill Belichick. But no, the Dolphins should have Skylar Thompson looking prepared and ready to go with the offensive guru, head coach, genius of Mike McDaniel, right? And all them offensive pieces. Ah, the ball got tipped. There's a lot of tipped balls, but you know what's different with Bailey Zappi? A lot of his passes get tipped. And I've learned that tipped passes are often fault the fault of the quarterback. Or I'm learning that as I'm starting to watch like certain things. Like it's it's throwing it through the bad window. That often results in the uh, tipped ball. Did the Steelers just score again? Yeah, that might be a nail in the coffin. Damn, dude, I'm about to get a bunch of games wrong this weekend. That's this embarrassing. Fuck, dude, this is not my week to pick them. It's not been my season. Oh, yeah, just throw it away. All right, this will probably be a field goal coming. Yeah, that'll be grounding. So that'll get backed up to like the 26. Chase Claypool at a red zone TD. Sheesh. Yeah, it looks like the Steelers might actually have the D. Twenty-four to nine, so we'll probably try it out the field goal unit. And Bailey Zappi's intentional grounding makes us uh, what, forty-five. Oh. There's a good amount of wind going on too. This might not be any good. I don't know. I don't know if he can make this one. I'll be right back in two seconds. Ah, just missed. Son of a bitch. I, I I knew I had a feeling about that. Mitch just regained his job back. Oof. I wish Claypool was great so I could call him Mapletron. Ah, there goes the missed, the streaks made. Or the made kicks streak. Goddamn wind in Cleveland. All right. Anyway, uh, there is 9:01 remaining in the fourth quarter. Cleveland retakes the ball at first and ten at the Cleveland 27. First and ten at the Cleveland 27 for the Browns. It is 24 to nine New England with 9:01 remaining in the fourth. 9:01 remaining here in the game. Uh, I'm looking across, trying to see if there's any changes of scores. Nope. Everything's about the same. No lead changes, no real additions to leads. Um, Jaguars just got a first 10 to the 15. Damn, dude. Ugh, this picks week's going to suck again. An upset week strikes. I just need the Bengals to come back or something. Because right now I've only got one, two, three games right. All right, I'm not doing so bad. We need... All right, first and goal of the Indy Four. All right, we might have a we might have some decent come turnarounds. We'll see. Yeah, Jets winning uh, quite convincingly. Maybe the Jets aren't so bad. I think the game's about to come back on. It'll be first and ten at the Cleveland twenty-seven coming up. Nine oh one remaining in the fourth. Patriots up twenty-four to nine. Yeah, our defense has been great lately. Hold, let's hope they can uh, hold off this uh, coming drive here and get us a W. Yeah, the Packers are just not able to get the dub. All right, here we go. Fourth quarter. 
Big drive for the Browns coming. Oh, what the hell is going on? Hold on, what the fuck is this? Why did it go backwards so far? What the fuck? Why is it so far back all of a sudden? <laughs> That's annoying, kind of. Yes, he is sponsored by NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling best sleep with a cold medicine. My problem with mess streams is like the site like stops working halfway through the stream. I don't really know what's going on. I like can't control half the shit on it anymore. Like what the fuck? What is this? Alright, well I guess it's just kinda of broken now and right, this sucks. <laughs> Way behind now, I'm like five plays behind because it just decided to just reset. That's annoying. The drive's probably over. I'm significantly behind for some... I mean, the stream, the link I'm using just decided to just put itself far behind the game. I'm not really sure why. Didn't get flagged on what? I don't I don't know where we're at. I don't... What happened? I don't, I don't know what's going on. What player are you talking about, Mike? I'm just lost. I'm really far behind now, guys, so just so you're aware. Uh, try not to spoil. I'm still on first down. <laughs> For some reason, the link I'm using just went backwards, like, significantly in the middle of... Uh, just It just reversed itself and uh, started replaying commercials. So... I don't know. I'm annoyed as fuck right now. Things all the way up a lot. We probably have over. He probably already gave up a touchdown or some shit. Well, the, when you said that, I was on a commercial break, so I wasn't sure what you were even talking about. I play before or something. I wasn't too sure. like way behind dude this is like awful <laughs> like i like that's second and five at the new england 15 i'm at fourth down for some reason so yeah that's kind of a sign i'm way behind in the game right now that's pretty bad yeah, marcus just got burned on that one yeah, I, I don't know what happened. My stream just literally just went reverse. Like, I'm telling you, my stream just went, eh, we're going to go backwards and replay a whole bunch of commercials for you. Not really sure why it did that. <laughs> it just went, yeah. You don't mind watching it anywhere near real time, do you? I was like, well, I kind of would like to. It'd be kind of cool. And it was like, nah, you don't need to. And I was like, all right, I guess. Hey, it looks like Jacksonville took the lead back. Anyway, second down and five. Uh, hopefully that guy isn't too banged up. We can't really afford too many more injuries. It's wise. He's not too bad. What is it? Second and five coming up. Rodgers is done for the day. Uh-oh. 
this season, but so far, Chubb with just 56, and he's averaging well over 100. Hunt's only got 12. So they've done the job Blaming the refs? Why? Because his team can't score, f can't move the football? Damn, the Jets made Rodgers rage quit. Third and five. Ball at the 15 here. Hopefully we can get a couple stops. I mean, the Browns wide receivers are committing OPI. Yeah, I know. They're going to happen. The games are over with. Yeah, it's uh, pretty close here at the finish here. Oh, so close by 27. Damn. Fourth and five. If you're here, that'll make it possibly a seven-point game because they're going to go for two. Bengals just took the lead, too. That's good. I think we're out of corners. Ah. Over Miles Bryant of all fucking people, dude. Fucking Miles Bryant. Dude, he sucks so much. Of all people. 617 remains. 24-15. They're going to go for two. Well, it's now 24-10. My, Miami's getting beat, kind of. Yeah, AFC Beast is coming to life. Patriots got to get the ball back and just fucking hold it here. I think they count that first uh, foot, uh, that first left foot tap as a, uh, like when he initially catches it. I think they count that first tap and then um, it's the set there. Boom, boom. All right, here comes the two-point. Hate how far behind I am. Falcons just won. Sheesh. Reset. Oh, fuck. Get him. Ah. Okay, cool. All right, so we're still up by nine. All right. I think he got it. I think the way with the toe tap works, he got it. I mean, it's automatically reviewed by New York anyway, so it's, it's you know, it's nothing stupid. Yeah, Bob, New York Giants just took the lead. Sheesh. They didn't get the play, so it's a uh, nine-point lead with 6.17 remaining in the game. Don't let them onside us. Yeah, hopefully we can't. We don't get beat on an onside here. What the fuck is going on? Why is, why is all my shit always just like so shitty sometimes? Like, the fucking garbage, dude. Yeah, we'll probably see an onside here, though. Actually, I don't know. It's kind of early to kick an onside kick. Feels a little early to be doing shit like that. Yeah, they they went onside. Oh no! The Browns just recovered the onside. God damn it! Yeah, 
Oh, they might have touched it out of bounds. Hold on a second. Let's see. Ball's out. You'll see 38 come sliding in here. Oh, shit. It might stay Patriots' ball. Is he touching the ball when his feet are out of bounds? That's, that's... The, field, the ball was beyond 10 yards, and the kicking team recovered it. It's first down, Cleveland. Okay, they're going to say he recovered it. That guy's clearly out of bounds with it, though, right? I mean, he's clearly out. It's going to be reviewed 100% by the Patriots. I was going to say, that should be kicked out of bounds. That should be the Patriots' ball at the 40, but we'll see how this gets ruled. Automatic reviewed. It's an auto review. It looks like he's out when he, like, when he touches it. What's up, stupid ape? Or what's up, ape? Because this is a turnover now by rule, because the kicking team has recovered uh, this ball, it is an automatic review from from upstairs. So they would initiate. Uh, New England would not have to challenge this in order to have it reviewed. That's why we're under the hood now. Good explanation, Gene. And Trent, right? <laughs> Gene, I don't know that Trent's going to take your job, but I guess with that explanation moments ago, uh, I, he, he might... <laughs> I don't want... Jets 2720 or 2710. Don't blow this because this is like a big game moment. Did you guys just win? Or you're up 24-20. And after looking at it more and more, it's just going to be, you know, do the officials think that AJ Green touched it? You keep us updated. All right. We don't actually see him touch it at the bottom of the pile. His arm goes in there where the ball is. Is it clear? Because it had his hand on it. It had been possessed by him. I'm pretty sure he's out, though, because that dude slid out of bounds. The play took a touchdown away from us earlier, a player going out of bounds. Looks like the New England's, New England's getting their offense ready. It sounds like they kind of believe that they're about to get the call. Yep. Oh, he's out. 38 touched the ball. No one had clean possession. And that's New England's ball at the 40. 41 yard line for the Patriots because dude slid out and then tried to correct his legs at the last second. 
No, Max, you clearly can. Everybody knew that was getting reversed, except like Cleveland fans, I think. There wasn't clear possession, in my opinion. No one had clear possession. I, I, that's my argument on that. And that's probably what doomed him on that. They come on with the high IQ slide downs. Oh, Giants got the ball. Holy shit, they win. Oh, I understand, Max. I understand. Yeah, Ravens blew another one. That's insanity. Giants are really good. Stevenson gets a few. Bengals won. All right, not bad. That's helping my pick them out with the Giants. This game is stressful here at the end now. 540, 535, second and seven. Oh, fuck. Bailey Zappi gets sacked. It's third and like 15. Garrett's a little banged up, though. I don't know if it's serious. It looks like his shoulder. Garrett's dealing with the, uh, it's, it's the injury you think it is. Score you predicted too? Hell yeah. That was a big sack. Yeah, I mean, Dabo right now would have to be. And he's uh, captured the all-time leading Brown sack record from Clay Matthews Sr. All right, third and 15. This drive ain't going anywhere. Left arm, left hand. Uh, Garrett looks kind of actually hurt. I hope he's all right. I don't like seeing guys like Garrett hurt. Taking his place as Rochelle. Third down, 15. Brown the block. Ugh. It got batted and caught. <laughs> Hey, Zappy with the reception, minus six yards. Zappy to Zappy, one of the greatest uh, throw and catches I've ever seen. All right, here comes the punting unit. Got to hope for a miracle here. <laughs> Zappy caught the ball at the back of the helmet. That's good. All right, guys, big moment. Got to hope this next drive goes good for the Pats. Got to hold them here. Good punt. Schooler! Yeah, we got it back! Schooler! Let's go! 19, first and 10 at the 19 for the Patriots. They get the ball back. A muff. Number 80 with the muff. Oh, man, this game is really tense. Holy shit. Alright. Let's put this game to bed. Field goal probably ices it. Just don't turn it over. Basically, that's all we got. Thornton's the only receiver out. End around. Yep. Touchdown, Thornton. Hell yeah. There we go. Jet sweep to Thornton. Let's go. How'd the Browns not key on that? 
Dude, as soon as I seen what we had out there, I was like, why is Tyree, why is Tyquan Thornton the only guy out there for the Patriots? And why aren't the Browns immediately noticing this is going to be a sneaky little bitch play? All right, 30 to 15. Oh, the Jaguars are the the Texans or the Colts just reclaimed the lead there. Eesh. Right now, I'm three and three on games if you count this one because it's like I got one wrong, two wrong, three wrong, four wrong, five wrong, <laughs> six wrong. Oof. Looks like I got one, two, and three. So three and six on my picks so far. Ugh. Yeah, congrats to the Giants. What'd Bill just do? Jets win at Green Bay for the first time since 2000. Yeah, it is crazy. Oh, now I see it. Okay. <laughs> 17 points off of turnovers for the Patriots tonight. Dude, I'm so upset with my pick'em right now. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's embarrassing, dude. Bad week. Upset weekend. What are you going to do? Like, come on, schooler, you know not to bother daddy when he gets like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't don't mess with don't mess with Bill during the uh, Cleveland dick games. Why? Uh. Yeah, the Giants and Ravens game looks like one hell of a uh, performance. How are the Patriots? Jesus Christ! How is the Patriots game with two running teams the last one to, like the for, the least far, far along game? Like, I even know I'm a little bit behind, but we're still three. We're still not even at the two minute warning for these. For the one, I thought we'd finish first. We're last. This is this is hilarious. Did we just get the ball? Did we just get the ball back? Or is he down? Did we just get another turnover? No, we got the ball. First and goal at the eight for the Patriots. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> All right, Patriots ball. Let's go. My nose is bothering the shit out of me right now. <laughs> Yeah, they're just going to look at that and make sure. But, I mean, that's a fumble. Matt Ryan, yeah, it looks like it. Had a big comeback win. Made everyone who picked the goddamn Jaguar or the Colts look smart over me. Damn, dude. Three and six picks to start. That's not good. I'm going to need Rams and Carolina to pick me up and the Chiefs to pick me up. Get me back to 500. 
Yeah, Colts got a big clutch win. Falcons had a clutch win. Sheesh. All right, Patriots have it. I wonder if the Patriots defense has a bunch of points on... Um... Oh, yeah, why didn't Yahoo open up? I hate when Google doesn't feel like Chrome doesn't autofill for some particular, like for whatever reason. Patriots defense has 12 points today. Let's go. See, my fantasies are all doing pretty. I think I'm winning in ev oh, except one game I'm not winning. And the first one. But I also haven't had Herbert play yet. Oh, boy, I had a lot of these guys. Baltimore's defense was a bad idea to play, though. Fair enough. Damn, want to know what I've got? Kittle got me 16 points. Lazard got me 17. Uh, Godwin got me 15. Thielen got me 15. Chase got me 33 on one team. Robinson only got me 6, though, so that's a bit of a bummer. I got kind of bailed out by a bunch of other guys, though. Bro, I didn't even know you were streaming. I've been watching the Brown, uh, some Browns fan on the verge of uh, tears slip low-carb beer out of a fucking dog bowl. Really? <laughs> yeah, you should always know I'm live, Ezekiel. We're always Patriots fans. We're always live here for Patriots games. I figured there was a bigger Brown streamer that was stealing a bunch of views from me. Where we could be joking on these uh, bums. Wait, I'm always live for it, but that's, uh, yeah. AFC East is the toughest. Yeah, AFC East is the best division in the NFL, by the way. Uh, minus the embarrassing Dolphins, who lost today. Ugh. Every team in the uh, division is over five, 500 or better. Let's go, AFC East. AFC Beast. Third and goal from the five. Stevenson gets the handoff. Touchdown! Yeah, exactly, Shailene, exactly. Patriots back to 500. You guys want to know what's funny? There's still three minutes to go in this game. Let's go. 24 points off of uh, turnovers. Cats, Bengals, Giants. I picked wrong. Yeah, I picked, uh, I had six games. I didn't pick good at all. I, I got every upset wrong. I figured I was picking bad this week. God damn it. Man, I feel stupid. <laughs> I can't pick anymore. I don't know what happened. I'm having a bad season. Do we put in the four-string quarterback? Maybe. Hopefully the Browns dropped the ball. <laughs> Do we put the four-string? Eesh. It's turned ugly at the end here. They can't finish this. CBS is like, get this shit off the screen. We got to get to other games soon. We got this Bills game coming up. Oh, I forgot. Max is kind of pro. If this was to happen, just let it be a blowout type. I forgot. Max had a weird angle on this. He wants the defensive coordinators fired and shit. It's like, just fire them. Jesus Christ. How are we... Uh, Hell yeah, Ada. Great game for the old Patriots. Good job by Bailey Zappi. Yeah, the Bucks lost. Yeah, it's yeah. My picks are destroyed, Mike. Oof, the max exodus, exodus of Browns fans. There's still three minutes left in the game. They're all heading over to the Brown Indians game or the Guardians game. No, none of them Guardians fans are leaving Cleveland. They're not leaving downtown. They're just heading over to the to the baseball game. Cleveland fans don't give a fuck. They got baseball to go watch here. They're about to potentially go to the ALCS. You guys, Max, you guys can afford to lose tonight and still be alive, right? Jets and Pats proved it. Yeah, they had to prove that they were actual football teams. They were, like, able to play. Vikings are in a bad spot. Did they almost just... They almost just kick. I, I, you know, I honestly thought he almost just like bobbled the kickoff. How about them Guardians and Padres? Yeah, Padres, man. NLCS versus the Phillies. Hopefully they can win it. Then it's the Padres going to the World Series. I'd be very happy.
All right, here we go. As long as we can hold on to a 23-point lead here with three minutes to play, Bill Belichick has tied George Hollis for most career wins with postseason and regular season. I might do a Padres game here this coming week, um, just depending on like schooling and ba- and football, and I-, I might do I might do some baseball. Just because I'm, I'm actually heavily entertained by the Phillies, and I, I'm, I, you know, my second favorite team in baseball is the Padres. So all of a sudden, I have some very high rooting interests here to uh, actually watch these games. But, I, but I'm like nervous because it's also like I don't know. Do I stay at a distance so I don't curse them? I think I have to. Yeah, Daniel. They seem the offense has gotten used to being in the West Coast offense. Our, our West Coast system is starting to pan out a little bit here. What can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah. It's, uh, good sentiment to live by, I guess. Yeah, Lions fans shouldn't be worried about us. Like, yeah, we're just really good. We're cracked, is what the kids say. And we're playing without our best corner, Josh Uche. Who else is not playing in this game today, Mike? Padres underdog? Major underdog. Like, we're without a number of, like, very key players for our defense in this game, and we're actually still somehow hanging out. I was very worried about no Uche, no... um. What happened? Oh, Harrison Bryan pass incomplete. You know, for as good as these umps are supposed to be. Man, Jacoby Brissett played so <laughs> Fucking Bailey Zappi played so good today. Makes everything so complicated for us. If only Bill Belichick could draft, though. If only Cole Strange was good. If only Jack Jones, Marcus Jones, Tyquan Thornton, Lawrence Guy, and Jonathan Jones. Yeah, those are pretty big. Mike, if only we could draft good and like six, seven rookies that we drafted this year weren't key players in this game today. If only, right? Like if only we could have drafted like Tyquan Thornton who scored two touchdowns. Uh, Cole Strange who's been blocking really good all game. Uh, <laughs> Jack Jones almost just had a crazy pick. Like the Jones, like... Did anybody say any team has hit more successfully on the last draft than the Patriots? Just question. Like, serious question. I mean, like, Jesus Christ. I think every draft pick we made this last year play is playing in this game and is majorly contributing to the fact that we won. Are we done with the whole narrative of uh, Bill Belichick can't draft? Do you know why some of the drafts were so bad in the mid-2000s, uh, 10s? You want to know why? I'll give you the reason, the, like the actual reason, because we weren't drafting to like build up a super team. We were drafting very specifically to keep a dynasty going. We were drafting things like left tackles and fucking guards and shit very, very exclusively late in drafts because we weren't literally trying to like like we were drafting very specific depth pieces and shit because, again, we were balancing a dynasty on top of a win now football. Like it's like we were we weren't building up a future we're building a future now and the last two drafts that we've had indicate that i mean look at look at how much look at uh, almost every draft pick the last two years has been great yeah the yeah the only two who aren't participating in this game i think literally are pierre strong and kevin harris to me, that's insanity. Rams are already trailing. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm sorry, man. Matthew Stafford just is turning back into the old Matthew Stafford. 3-3 Arizona, Seattle. All right. 
This game is still going on. Jesus Christ. You know CBS is getting pissed off. They're like, dudes. <laughs> They're about to probably send this game away. They're probably like, why is this still on? <laughs> why are the Patriots and Browns two running teams? I don't know. No, the reason, dude, like, I don't know why anyone's doubting Belichick at this point. Like, dude, all he did was put together, like, a team with, like, 12 rookies on the roster. It feels like seven of them are starting. And he's over, and he's winning game. Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, I'm doing tonight. I'm doing tonight's stream, Daniel. Yep, uh, Sunday night. It's the Eagles-Cowboys. That's a good game. Zappy? Yeah, Zappy, 300 yards. Two TDs and very nice game. What about Tyquan Thornton, ladies and gentlemen? If you're a Patriots fan, did Bill finally get a receiver right? Did we learn how did we draft the receiver right? You know what's funny about us getting Tyquan right? I'm doing good, Land. I'm doing good, buddy. Us getting Tyquan Thornton right is the funniest thing because like nobody gets Baylor receivers right. They're always busts. And the Patriots somehow drafted Tyquan Thornton and went. So yeah, we don't even care that receivers from Baylor are busts. Yeah, but he's wicked. Fat. I hate when people do that. Fourth and three. So this will probably be it here. We'll probably see um, if they don't get this conversion here, we'll see the Patriots come out and kneel it. I don't imagine the Browns trying to play uh, timeout mode. Man, it's dropped. And Patriots win. GG's to the Browns fans. GG's to the Browns fans. That was a fun game until literally the last minute. I don't know what happened in the last two minutes of play. We scored a fuckload of touchdowns out of nowhere. We almost blew that shit it was feeling like first. I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. In four or five weeks, there's a Patriots stream. I'm going to absolutely shit all over. Not mine. I'm, I've been very happy. Terry Underwood for your sing. <laughs> Dre. Patriots got the ball. Is the uh, When's the regular season start for the NBA? Yeah, that's the game. All right. Patriots win. All right. Three and three. We're back to 500. Woo. Maybe everybody can calm the fuck down about my football team now. Good Lord. All right, what a good game, uh, especially if you're a Patriots fan. Defense was great as always. Uh, special teams was great as always. The offense did exactly what we needed them to do. Excited for NBA Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. Shit. When does the hockey, is the hockey regular season on too? Like they're in regular season now for like all those sports. That's cool. Everything's back on. Cool. Sports are full on. Baseball's in the thick of their playoffs. I got a bunch of fucking notifications on my phone. All right. Uh, that was a good one, guys. Uh, all the games are over. Usually we stay live and kind of finish up the games because all the games I usually watch finish first. Dodgers, biggest chokers in sports. Yeah. Yeah, October is a good sports month that usually. Red Wings is 2-0. and Yep. Pats won. 3-3. Three and three. Browns will fall to a respectable 2-4. Uh, and four. Have a good day, too. Uh, we'll be live again for Sunday Night Football, everybody. So if you want to tune in for that, um, we'll be live for it. Let's see how we did on the overalls on this stream. Let's go check the note. How do, how do we do on likes? If you haven't left a like, consider leaving one on your way out. Helps the stream out. Um, what else we got? That's a little over 600 views. Not bad at all. Had to compete against brown streamers who were sucking up and hyphening viewers. We have 29 likes. Will anybody leave a like to make it 30? You haven't done so. Just know that your light could be the big one. Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, Kevin. Could be the one that puts us over the mark. Yeah, dude. So many um, Dodgers people are just hey, we got th whoever left the like is number thirty. We got it. You did it. You're a significant person. <laughs> anyway. GG's uh, Eric. GG's man. Uh, that I mean, it didn't really go the way you probably wanted it to, but you know. Again, us having 
like having an understanding of how to play brissette really probably made a big difference i want to check something yahoo let's go check my fantasies out see this one this is the big one this is the one i'll probably win on um this one i'm not too sure about my among us saint brown yeah i had all my people play basically i don't know about that i still got justin herbert so as long as he has a decent game you know it's it's it's, it's up there Okay, I still got Mahomes. Two receivers. Cobb didn't do shit for me because he left with the injury. Patriots defense really came through for me today with a multi with a big performance. Not bad. Fantasies are all right. Not doing so great on those either. But again, it is what it is. Uh, what else we got? Three and six on our picks so far today. So that's not good either. So. <laughs> Just a rough start to the day, but uh, overall, I'm happy because the Patriots got a massive W. So I'll enjoy that and uh, probably start to wrap it up here because it is 4:30, and I kind of want to start to get you know, I want to eat and be ready for uh, the uh, what eight? Is it 8:20 Sunday night? <laughs> yeah, 8:20. Yeah, 8:20. All right, though, guys, um, unless anybody has anything dire to talk about, I think I'm going to start to wrap her up. You're six and two. Damn. It's pretty solid. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to have bad picks records this week because of the Jets, because the Giants. Well, I don't know. Some people might pick the Giants. I've seen a lot more people pick the Ravens, though. Uh, the Steelers winning. That's like three that a lot of people are probably going to have wrong. You said about the Browns, but really, uh, I was gonna say, I think a bunch of Jai, um, a bunch of, uh, uh, Browns fans probably are, are more so focused on the, uh, baseball game tonight that they have to, uh, you know, keep their eyes on. All right, though, everybody, it was another fun week. Week seven's next time. The Patriots will take on the Browns on uh, Monday night football. So next week's kind of weird. I don't really, let me, let me go look at this. Uh, what am I doing next week? Let's see. We'll be doing Thursday night. That'll be good. We'll do Lions at Cowboys. That should be all right. Um, yeah, that's probably the best game to do. All these other games kind of suck. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then Sunday night, um, oof. And then, obviously, Monday night. You got the Lions against the Cowboys? Maybe. It all depends on uh, what we see from the... I don't know. The Cowboys defense is really good. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to get out of here. It seems like everybody's dipping out, too. Uh, thank you to everyone who tuned in. It was a very fun stream this afternoon. Very fun. Uh, good times. Again, uh, that's pretty much all I got, though. Um... So if there's going to be out, he might be playing. Uh, I think part of the reason he's been out the last couple of games was to give him like an, ex like a weird, like timeout, just like, like extra time off of like play time. I don't know. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day, night, morning, whenever you listen to this. And uh, I'll see you for Sunday night football. Peace out and uh, take it easy. Bye. -bye.